Okay. We appeared. We have appeared to have made the switch. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Fontaman, and welcome to today's show. Today we are playing Gundam Breaker 3, as voted by the Vosko Dostian patrons. It is a game about plastic crack. It is a game about uh, the military industrial merchandise con... Uh, Plex, yeah, where um, buying model kits uh, supports the oppression and uh, conscription of child soldiers in pretend wars that don't exist. We're about to dive into a really terrible, terrible place. 60, 60 minutes has nothing on this shit. <laughs> wait till we get into... Wait, wait, wait until we get to the part where people get slapped and turn into psychics. Mm, gripping stuff. Never before seen. <laughs> okay, so I tested this. It should work. However, there's going to be a couple of strange issues here because we're using the PS4 without the additional splitter. So I'm going to turn on the capture card audio and we should hear something. Okay, good. Fantastic. No problems. Great. I'm happy. Okay. We still have to do that weird thing where I have to route the HDMI audio output through the capture card and then listen to it in OBS in order to actually hear the console audio. It's quite weird. I kind of missed that second HDMI splitter with an audio output. However, uh, that thing was a finicky bitch from the day we got it. So, um, it, it was sheep-ish, but it was still kind of useful and annoying. So, here we are. So let us begin with Gundam Breaker 3. Note that I started the game up just to um, see if it all worked properly. There was an intro cutscene that I hastily quit out of. I'm not sure if we're going to see it again, but we'll see. Um, remember this plot here with our plastic crack. Remember to read your instruction manuals. For all the lore. Yeah. Lore. <laughs> Gundam does have lore, though. It's just that now the lore is plastic crack. And also, we are playing the break edition of the game, which has all of the DLC! Which, yes, yeah, T Gundams are in here, which is fucking comedic. Okay, import save data from Gundam Breaker 2. No, because we have not actually played Gundam Breaker 2 ever, because it's a JP only game. This is an import. Uh, New Gundam Breaker is the international version or international rendition of this game series. However, uh, those games are shit from what I hear and what I played of New Gundam Breaker. Um, I believe it was New Gundam Breaker 3. Um, yeah, it was kind of bad and nonsensical and kind of a mess. This is apparently, as I have been told, a better game. But of course, the Japanese kept it all to themselves. So uh, basically what we've got here is a uh, SEA region in export copy with English subtitles. I have, I, I have heard only bad things about New Gundam Breaker. Yeah, um, so, okay, so I'm not wrong. Um, my opinion of seeing New Gundam Breaker with Kadusha, who has it, uh, it's kind of a fucking mess in that it's incomprehensible. That nearly, the battles are really stupid. It's, it's a high school anime, which I'm pretty sure this is the same deal here, but it's really bad in terms of just, it's just a big ball of nonsensical you know, the plastic cracks smacking each other with inhuman anime girl noises in the background. It, it'll it sell to the moe crowd, but not anybody who actually wants a fucking good time. So, eh. But, um, apparently this is better. There's also something about a space station. I don't know yet. I really don't know. But we don't have, we don't have import data. I, no, I, I, I will not import my save data from Mass Effect 2. No, it would ne never happen. We're gonna, just going to play Mass Effect 3 with no save data. I never played better games, no. But apparently, I've heard good things about this game. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, space elevators, yes. GME to the moon? 
目的地の月面ステーションや宇宙コロニーの建設はこれから始まるのだ。あ、yes, now becomes now starts the universal century. The real oppressive hours. 私の現実はというと。You have nothing to do with any of that, girl. You play with plastic crack. Yeah! Okay. Lady, that dress is so not your fucking color. I'm sorry. All right, space elevators, uh, robot assistants, badly dressed old people. Welcome to the future. Some things never change. The claw machine is always rigged, but it's never rigged. It's kind of quiet out there, but it's rather, um, it's just normal things. It's normal childhood things. Mm. <laughs> Destroy the huge Gundam, you say? Holy shit, what a subtitle! <laughs> Anyone else catch that? I remember, I kind of remember the ad, like, distantly remember the ad campaign for this, and it was something about a giant Gundam, and hey, look, a gym, too. <laughs> I didn't know that was the fucking tagline! Okay, right, so now we have a kinda sorta gym too. Kinda sorta. Now, hmm. Okay, square is melee. Triangle is also melee! Circle does fucking nothing. X is- okay, yeah, okay, so basically we have only melee, it seems. Excuse... Sony? Um, excuse me. Uh... <laughs> Wait! <laughs> we went too far beyond the time! <laughs> um... What do you mean a disc is not inserted? Yes, it is! What?! <laughs> oh! Huh? The disc came out! What?! I'm sorry, what? PS4, are you okay? <laughs> um... That, uh... That's very alarming. Just emulate these things. No, I will buy them legally and avoid any sort of legislation, legislative uh, uh, recoil or downside. You know what I mean. And this is entirely g legit. This is a normal PS4 game! I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Okay, disc back in. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the motor wouldn't actually accept it, so I had to take it out and wait a second, but, um... Did the cat hit it? The cat is not here. Cat-ho is, no is nowhere to be f no is nowhere. Um, she, she, cat is non-factor, but, um... Okay, so the game basically fucking broke. It said, no, we're not going to play. Um... Okay... <laughs> But yeah, no, Cat's not in the room. That was entirely, uh, the game itself. I don't know what happened there. I, I really don't. <laughs> that was very bizarre. But it looks like we're gonna have to, we'll probably be able to skip the cutscene. But, okay, so we're just back here now. Okay. That was a strange uh, series of events. But we got all day to play this. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. This timeline seems familiar here. Is it happening again? Is this is where the world ends after the space elevator is completed? Is this the bad timeline? Does everyone die horribly? Is this the start of yet another Necronica campaign in my fiction? We don't know, but we'll find out. Okay, um, uh, uh, once more with feeling, and again, welcome to the show. It's Gundam Endless 8.
Yes, it's Gundam Endless 8, and the answer for getting out of the, uh, the time loop is stop the colony drop! <laughs> Clearly, the Gundam is the biggest threat. Okay, uh... Low-quality plastic! Oh, no! <laughs> Damn! Low-quality pla- those are gun tanks. Oh, okay. Okay, so the triggers are, uh, range. Okay. That's very strange, but alright. Unfortunately, I'm, uh, I'm a normal person, and I'm used to, like, something like Encounters in Space, where, I don't know, you have to switch weapons in order to use them. Weapons are items, and not mount to a si mounted to a singular button that's ready all the time. I can understand the convenience, but it just means that key bindings get weird. On another note, G-Generation Genesis PC web. In due time, there's also, uh... Which one before? Uh, well, we could play that, and then there's. Well, it, no, it's uh, with Cross Rays on PC right now. We could play that on PS4. I own that thanks to a dancing fool. One of these days, but this is voted by the patrons, and therefore is priority. The ending of this year, and well, I think the entirety of last year, and everyone can agree, was awful. So, uh, excuse me for being late once again, but. Well, now we get back to the games that people are actually paying to see me play. Which I can do. I will be nominating that after KDM ends. Well, good. Then you can avoid any sort of problem with me actually playing it. Please, I will line up to play Gundam ev all, you know, forever, basically. Anytime. Though, granted, I still have to actually play War for Earth, but that's its own fucking monster. That's really the fucking time. That's the Higurashi of the Gundam universe. That shit's cursed! But yes, the Duchy of Jaw. Hail Jaw. <laughs> Undown. That probably wasn't translated, right? Okay, there's not much of a. Well, there is a tutorial. It's just. Well, it's kind of just there. But this is a lot better than Gundam Breaker, or New Gundam Breaker 3, where, yeah, no, the, every battle is just this, with even more confusing shit going on screen, and anime children trying to talk over everything. The game's a fucking mess, so I'm already seeing that, yes, no, this is actually kinda nice. It's a beat-em-up, but oh well. Japan has this fascination with, you know, melee-focused beat-em-ups like, well, Dynasty Warriors, but... They have this fascination that damn near every Gundam game has to be that. I don't really like that! I'm way more, uh... You know, you know, I'm way more, you know, accustomed to Clank. Like the light mech simulators that, uh... Warf uh, you know, from the Ashes was. That was nice. The only problem is that experience is only... I have lost an arm. Uh, nope, it came back. Alright, fine. <laughs> just let me just jam that shit back on there. But, you know, whatchamacallit, the game, you know, like mech simulators, like, you know, from the ashes were on the Dreamcast, and like I said, like I was saying, the problem is, that's stuck on the fucking Dreamcast, and there was a compilation re released for PS4, I believe, but that's, you guessed it, JP only! So I swear to fucking God, I love Gundam. Gundam is one of my, one of, one of my, if not my favorite gun anime franchise. The problem is the fucking games are, like, varying levels of suffering, and if you're not Japanese, you don't get to have fun. Unless, you know, unless you spend a shit ton of money. Speaking of which... Random resub. Well, welcome nonetheless. Thank you for... Well, welcome back, sir. Thank you for subscribing. And yes, as I said, um, I had to mute desktop audio, so uh, text-to-speech is not going to be working. So we will not have sounds. I can hear them, though, but the stream won't be able to hear them. I mean, G Genesis was Asia only. It didn't stop me from buying it and giving you my second copy. See, Dancing Fool here is very generous. But this is kind of the problem. Where we have to import the fun games because Japan won't let us have them. Or doesn't think we're, wor we're worth the money to export said games. 
even though really okay that's a large that is a that is a large shard but yeah even though really all we need is we just need this we just need the japanese game with english fucking subtitles so we can fucking play it we don't need anything fancy i don't need the english voice actors i don't need anything else i just need a game i can fucking read but even then on top of that Sometimes that doesn't even fucking stop me. I started playing Blue Archive just for the sake of it. And it's so derivative of every other gacha shit out there that I can't even read anything, but I can still play it because I know... I, 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 I kind of understand what all the buttons do. I can navigate to the mint news and send the little girls out to kill things. Therefore, I can, in fact, gacha shit. The West doesn't know what a Gundam is. Sir, them fighting words. But this is down, down to, to Bandai's own fault here, because this call goes back to fucking Gundam on Toonami, or, uh, yeah, like, the initial outing of Gundam on, on you know, what's called, on, on American television, or Western, you know, television. Where Gundam Wing worked out pretty well, and, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I believe it was Cartoon Network or Time Warner, or basically Bandai's English uh, counterparts said, all right, we want more of the spin-off series, like G Gundam and whatnot. But Bandai went, you know what, now nah, we're going to bring back an anime from the 70s, i.e. the original Mobile Suit Gundam, and that'll appeal to kids today in, like, 2005. That didn't work. And then they, thus they blamed, well, thus they said, oh, well, I guess Gaijin doesn't want Gundam. Even though, as great as the original series for Gundam is, yeah, no, you're not really going to get kids today with fucking Star Blazers. That's a, that's a crying fucking shame, but it's not how that works. So I like that because I was introduced to it. Uh, well, the UC timeline is way fucking better than any other timeline anyway. But this was really... It's it, Gaijin... Or not Gaijin. Ha! Ah! Actually, that, I'm going to use that word, but not that there. Bandai. It's basically Bandai's fault, and every decision they make against it is a confirmation bias. Well, when I actually get out of here and I have parts. But thank you, Tazarin, for the dollar. But yeah, no. The problem, the problem with the Gundam series in the West is that Band Bandai's uh, confirmation bias towards the West not liking Gundam makes decisions that make Gundam less visible and less popular in the West. They really need to get their heads out of their ass. But beat-em-ups like this are nice, but I feel like this is like 90% of Gundam games. And you could do so much more with this. But unfortunately, uh, we can't have that. Because we have weird things like, again, the compilation of all the other games that weren't fucking beat em ups being locked to Japan, and then games like, say, Blue Destiny never making it to America because of one disgruntled coder. And never, ever, ever being, like, thought about again. Yakimo, I'll be here. Well, I'll try and figure out the game myself. But thank you for the thank you for the offer. Ace has mess team is the best. I arguable, but Gundam Goes to Vietnam is pretty fucking cash. That's probably one of the better series out there. The OVAs that are based off of the Universal Century are some of the best Gundam series. I will stand by that. Ace MS team and 0083 and 0080 are really great fucking shows. R1 brings up special moves. Oh. Oh, okay. R1 square. Okay. Okay. I can fix myself? Okay, yeah. Okay. So holding R1 and pressing triangle... You... A fucking Zuda? Hey! You're too esoteric to be here! <laughs> you're not original canon! <laughs> fucking Zuda. Get the fuck out of here, you walking bomb. Also, you disabled lock. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, I don't need lock. Actually, I do use need lock on because most of Gundam games actually rely on leaning lock, leaning on lock on. But I can rub my plastic on the other guy's plastic. See, I didn't even need to target that Zeo. Fuck him. Is 
Zuna do actually appear in the original series? Group? When? I don't remember the Zuna. I'm pretty sure the Zuda actually, that's just, uh, whatchamacallit, that's Igloo. Started in Igloo, and then I believe it was accepted in, uh, whatchamacallit, the origin movies. There are background suits in one of the battles. Oh, okay. Enemy player approaching. Sorry, what? Player two. What do you mean, player two? Holy sweet mother of fucking Christ, it's a Gamma Tetra. Hey! What are you doing in Mommy Sima's suit? You can't have that. <laughs> I'm literally just smashing the buttons. And I'm winning. Not very skilled. Ooh, ow. I'm gatekeeping you, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> You're not allowed to have fun with my plastic crack. You're not living your life correctly. Oh, good thing that's a light melee, a light range attack. My head! Well, fuck you, you only destroyed the main camera, that's all. And he's fucking dead! Alright. Low quality plastic, how pathetic. Look at this man, look at this man! Look at this man and his no grade model kit! Look at this man and his model kits before standardization. Absolutely pathetic. But okay, yeah, sure, fine. Um, that was easy. I basically walked forward and mashed square and triangle repeatedly. Mixed a little bit of uh, melee in there, but... Okay. This seems like a pretty easy game. Pretty fun game. But it really is just walk forward and mash the enemy in the head with the melee button. File your goddamn shaft, you scrub. Unfortunately, this game may be a game about cursed gunpla. However, I cannot make Nib's Destiny. I can't. I can't make something that cursed. I'm disappointed. They went okay. So, um, diffuse bullet. Okay. Machine gun ex action. Use usable when equipped with equipped machine gun. 200% continuous uh, continuous damage of range of DPS. Okay, so what? Uh, a gun special. Good. Cross slash, already have that. Armor repair, already have that. Boost tackle. With a rush that takes advantage of boost thrust, a powerful shoulder tackle is released. Ah, uh, yes. The, uh, uh, what is it? The rumble roll. Uh, smash. Yes. Okay. A hand. Beam spray gun. Hey, look! Standard issue equipment for a gym. Um, a Zaku machine gun. A Gamba Tetra head, which I... I like the Gamba Tetra, but just the head is... Actually, no, it's only Cursed Gunpla, so you know what? Depending on what the stats are, we may be able to jam that onto a gym and fuck everybody else. And fuck everybody else who looks at us funny. Okay, Zaku arms. Um, gun tank backpack. Uh, Ultron backpack. Wait a minute, Ultron, but... Where the fuck did I get that? That's good. What the... Where the fuck did I get that from? What are you doing here, Endless Waltz? And 32 units of low-quality plastic. Okay, so, um... Oh, I have to actually acquire it all. Okay, so... Acquire all. Yes. You got it off the nerd. Why did... You had a fucking... 
He put endless waltz equipment on a fucking Gabba Tetra? Okay. Are we addicted to plastic crack again? Yes. But instead of race cars, it's mobile suits. Oh boy. Oh no, the mom and pop gunpla store is being muscled out of town. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, think of the small business! Oh <laughs> Are you tell you're, you're telling me that a business that owns you know stuff that owns parts of a space station is also investing in plastic crack? I'm sorry, what? Look, lady, as long as you're not gonna go from GM Cardigan to SD Gundam, we'll be all right. If you try and do that, though, I may have to kill someone. Fucking GM Cardigan. Never forget what they did to my boy. They massacred him. Team member, found it, right? That guy. You, you are my son. Come on, come on. No. 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 I'm happy you actually have a date. I was getting worried, daughter. This girl spending all of her time in the back corners of my of, of my shop with plastic crack. Of course, uh, now I'm being you know conscripted into a tournament because this is how the military industrial merchandise complex works. The VR hang I'm sorry, what? The VR hangar is a projected virtual space where you can prepare your your team for the next gunpla battle. By accessing the in-hangar equipment with your avatar, you can access various functions. I can build gunpla in VR! <laughs> Setup counter for customizing your gunpla. Mission counter for missions and team member selection. Arena shop, multiplayer counter. They're the same thing, guys. Additional DLC missions become selectable. New machines will appear in additional DLC missions. Toggle the, between the DLC and normal mission selection screen with options. Additional DLC missions will only be unlocked after clearing the main story. Oh! Please take note if you have not completed the main story. Oh, I can't cheese the system getting way better parts than I actually should because I haven't beat the game. Oh! I can't do the fucking thing I do in Armored Core where I just fucking to stop with the story for like four hours and do the martial arts tournament and then just get all the good parts and then become unstoppable. Damn! I guess we're actually gonna have to be a, a shonen anime with fucking structure. And yet, nope, um, merch, 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 merch. Are you buying merch yet? Are you buy are you buying? Are you thinking about buying? You should be thinking. Actually, don't. <laughs> this is not financial advice. This is this game is an advertisement to get you into plastic crack. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, that's multiplayer, right? So let's go to uh not the mission st store or the arena, right? Okay, so shop, I believe. Yes? Or what about this? Uh setup, right, setup. Setup, you can rearrange your machine's parts, paint your machine, edit your machine's name, photograph your machine, and more. Mm, merch, 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 merch. The available features will increase as you progress through the mission. Save your favorite machine loadouts in the design plans by pressing triangle. Load save machines by pressing square. Saving loadouts of your favorite machines will come in handy. Right, yes. Okay, so, um... So we've got ourselves a kinda sorta gym too. This is our starting suit, which is good because I am in fact a fed. But, um, we need to make this more cancerous. The arena is what you want if you just want to want to get a, a bunch of super nifty, or a bunch of nifty parts super early. Ah, right. 
Gym 3 nerd. Oh, I... whatever. It's not really. The Gym 3 is... Oh, Gundam... Wait, Gunpla named Gundam Breaker 3. Ha 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 ha. The Gym 3 has all that stuff on it that this doesn't have. So this is kind of... Uh, this is a lot of things. It's got a GM head, though, so I'm gonna call it a gym, but it's... A, apparently... It, it's a lot of fucking things. So, yeah, apparently it's built on the G3 Gundam chassis, which... Okay! That's a bit odd! Hmm. But yeah, no, I see, wait, no, it's got, it's, the, you see, it's Gundam Breaker 3, and then there are threes, and ha ha. But yeah, no, it is gun. it is a GM3 by the, 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 the name of these parts. However, it's also a G3 Gundam, i.e. the Magnetic Coating Gundam, but it ain't fucking purple, though. So, fact good, that does. Well, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, okay, wait, a, okay, back. Right, no, it's a Japanese game where X is back instead of triangle, because... Yeah, it makes sense, but we we didn't grow up like that here in the West. Okay, so let's have a look at the shop and see what we can actually buy before we start mangling things around. Okay. Okay, here, your game points, GP, can it, be, it can be exchanged for Gunpla and used for changing costumes in the VR hangar. Ah, yes, good, Avatar costumes. Yes, of course. <laughs> do you want Do you want to be the pretty girl when you're making Gunpla in VR? Well, now you can! You can also exchange unwanted parts and weapons or unwanted plastic for GP. Right. More Avatar costumes become available as your rank increases, and the number of Gunpla boxes that that can be exchanged for GP will increase as you collect the weapon parts for that gunpla during missions. Okay. okay, so actually, yeah, we just we buy actual model kits. That's actually really neat. Um, okay, so we can buy just straight up the G3 Gundam and then the regular Gundam, Gundam Ground type for extra grunt. And yes, uh... <laughs> If you haven't found, if you haven't noticed by now, ladies and gentlemen, or you are... Hmm? Swordsman, no, I haven't, but I'll make sure to actually be on the lookout for something that absolutely cancerous. Thank you for the eight bucks, sir. But yeah, no, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't figured it out yet, or or you are un uninformed on the subject, yeah, these boxes in the background, yeah, no, those are actual model kits. They sell those. So this is yet again just a really big f it's neat but it's a really big fucking marketing campaign for plastic crack. You have been consumed. I actually had most of these. What should we call it? Or are there some of these? I I don't, I, I remember I actually I, I think I bought the gun tank model kit like 3 times. For um, like in different phases of my life. Gun cannon as well. Um You can also press the pet dismiss me. <laughs> Get out of here, girl. But no, maybe she has something interesting to say. Jagan, right? Okay. You're a doga. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, hey guys. Um. <laughs> you want to do just? You want? You want to do Des uh, Dresden? <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's here, uh, Jesta, and, um, well, uh, of course it's Unicorn. Everything has to be fucking Unicorn, because this, this is kind of the, it, it, Unicorn was the biggest fucking thing ever. So. Okay, unable to convert currently, uh, wow, this list goes on, yeah, wow, Jesus Christ, this, uh, ooh, that's a, that's a lot of plastic crack in there that we're not, we're, that's above our pay grade right now. Interesting. Why did they give us the Victory Gundam? Of all fucking things, really? I mean, the Victory Gundam stats must be shit then. Be because why is it? We why give us that in the middle of all of this shit? Because there's like we only have like twenty percent of the fucking list. Actually, less. Probably like 10, five five percent, ten percent. And they throw the Victory Gundam at us. Weird. And that's just high grade. Oh my god, you can get more. It's probably from a, the DLC, maybe? But it said the, uh, no, wait, the DLC, con oh. I didn't actually see what was in the DLC, but we are playing Break Edition, which has all of the DLC in it. 
Um, I, they said the missions weren't available uh, until you completed the main game, so I just kind of automatically assumed that none of the content was available until you finished the game. But apparently not. But yes, uh, maybe we uh, may, maybe we will in fact escape the guillotine. Maybe, or maybe we'll find something else to buy. MG no gunpla da yo. Oh, master grade. Oh. Oh, great. Wow, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of these. Okay, right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and if you don't if if, if you don't know the difference, high grade is kind of the. the standard uh model kits these go for like like 15 to 20 bucks uh, master grade is bigger scale more expensive so uh <laughs> and then there's perfect grade which is well, they're absolutely huge and they have ridiculous amounts of fucking detail so um yeah once again it's an advertisement for fucking gunpla master grade difficulty becomes really damaged spongy hmm I have a perfect grade unicorn. Does it weigh like 20 fucking pounds? Actually, no, that wouldn't be that. It's just really. The unicorn's just really fucking big. The Neo Zeong is. That's 50 pounds of plastic in a box. Actually, 50 pounds of plastic. No thanks. There is no content. And that might not, it might not be for sale yet, or may no longer, may no longer be for sale. Well, I have all the DLC, so... Okay, so that's just the We can't buy anything! Okay, so let's see here. Alright. Hmm. Options. Okay, so, shit we don't need. Um... A hand, which, um, it's just a hand. I don't think we need that. Nope. <clears throat> Phone call. Hang on. Okay. Minor interruption. Back to work here. Yes, gunpla. Mm, okay, so, um, hands. We don't need hands. Hmm, maybe? I mean, I've got 20,000 GP up there, but that's not enough to buy any kits. The Thoughtswick, thank you for resubscribing, sir. Welcome back to the show. So, hmm... See, uh, well, I suppose we just hit square and convert to GP. Okay, so, um, machine gun or... Well, the spray gun does more DPS, but I don't think that eclipses... Actually, we have two of them. Like, no, that's level two. That's level, not quantity. Oh. Well, um... Let's see here. Um, mm-hmm. Right, so, don't need that. Uh, the Gabber Tetra Head we're gonna keep... How much would that convert, though? It's mm, not much. Mm -hmm. Also, weapons are classified in different types. Hmm. Okay, long-range weapon. Uh, okay. Zaku two arms, which, of course, we're going to make things cancerous, so yes, we're going to use this. Um, and then the backpack, which... It'd be nice if it's... Okay, oh, disposal, price. All right, okay. So that means that that number, the price in total down there is... Yeah, what we're gonna get out of that. Okay. But clearly, um... Since they won't actually... Actually, no. Okay, so the low-quality plastic, I can just convert straight to points. Yes, good. Or I could just go down and just say, Max, thank you. Good. 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 Money. 
You don't get most of your money from selling stuff. I'm guessing it's mission rewards then? Yes, thank you. All this stuff is all over the fucking place. Like, the, the uh, it's just, it just Japanese-centric fucking controls. Like, circle is accept rather than X. Which makes sense if you look at the controller. You would use circle to accept and X to deny. That makes sense, but we in the West have basically gotten used to X being accept and triangle being canceled, right? So, that's just something that is fucking weird. But you'll only notice it if you're playing import games. Hmm. But okay, so assemble. If I tune your gunpla, a bar by making a mess. By rearranging parts, adjusting settings for optional equipment and EX actions, and exchanging unwanted parts for GP. Oh, you can do it in here, not in shop. Okay. Okay, so there's that, but clearly. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, the beam spray gun does, in fact, increase our DPS. Hmm. That's 850 all around, but yes. Yes, standard GM equipment, and this is where we go right off the fucking rails. This gives us a statistical bonus, so clearly it's better. Hello, welcome to Dr. Fontelman's Gunpla Extravaganza, wherein I prize efficiency over all else. Cute girls? Uh, uh, maybe add a, an integral chainsaw or something like that. That'll certainly help. Okay. Ability spy. Oh, yes. This actually has an ability, so it is a statistical increase. Yes, yes. Good. Now we're in cancerous gunpla territory. Uh, let's see here. Backpack. Okay, so what does what here? Actually, they're both the same. However, the gun tank looks dumber. So yes, good. <laughs> yes, good. So as you see, the stats of the part are tied to their quantity level, not what mech the, the part is originally from. Right, they, I'm assuming that they all have individual parts, in which case they, you know, they have differing stats. Okay, so... Am I wearing a... Oh, well, no, it's just the arm shield. Okay, that gives me more... Wow, Jesus fucking Christ, that's way better. <laughs> okay, wow, G3 Gundam. Man, you are shit because you're the starting mech, aren't you? Hmm. I don't have anything else I can do, actually, so I don't... I think that's it. So, yes, do it. Can't use that. I mean, you can do, we could try that. Hmm. So I suppose what I could do is, yes, I could actually, no, I could have up to four. So I could just throw it, slap that in there. Just slap it in. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, so. I believe we're good. So save and go to setup. Skill proficiency increases as you use the skills, so skills can level up. Ah, yes, good. Also paint. Paint. Also, who bought a t-shirt? Well, wait a minute. Teed off. Well, enjoy your uh, your flag of the Vosco to see in Union. People actually buying merch. Wow, think what? Fancy that. Thank you! I worked hard to put those up there, but, uh, you see, I didn't have the Red King Reigns re shirt ready in time, so... Then nobody bought any merch, but thank you, sir. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, well, in honor of that, obviously, I've gotta paint my- I've gotta paint it red and gold now. Okay, so... Monochrome? Oh god. Oh, oh, oh god. Hmm. Dot. Stripes. Checker. <laughs> yes, I want. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Polka dot pattern. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
Wait a minute. I see pollen ball down there. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I mean, I know that's probably not what that is, but, uh, hmm. Tablecloth pattern. Yes, but now we're gonna be shiny. Red. Yes, good. Yes. Good. One part is going to be gold, though. I'm gonna have to figure out which one, though. That one. Yes, good. Eh, you know what, that's it. Ah, uh, yes, good. Good. actually kind of looks a little better. I mean, it's kind of... It, that's not damage, it's kind of frosting. What stain? What? Um... Ah, yes. It, we, we, weathering. Yes. Good. Mm, that takes a lot of effort. Oh, God. Okay, now this is actually... You know, warped its way around to actually being cool-looking again. Shit, what have I done? You look like a, Mar a Marasai that's that's been through some shit. Yeah, no, I see that. All right, uh, I, uh, I I concentrate I, on unorthodox uh, gunpla builds with high quality paint. Ah, uh, yes, airbrushing. Cause yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this actually warped its way around to being something actually pretty cool looking again. That's kind of funny. You're gonna see some cursed shit when he hits the arena. Oh no. Okay, I think we're good. That actually looks pretty okay, shockingly enough. That's rather bizarre, but hey, look, with a little bit of effort and a lot of experience painting, you too can actually make something cursed actually wind up looking like a grunt suit from a, from a show that hasn't come out yet, I guess. Okay, so let's check out the arena, just to see what we can actually encounter here. Before we go down to missions. Okay, the arena is where you can compete using your own gunpla, earn GPS prize money in Bounty Hunter mode by defeating the gunpla data of other players on the network. In challenge mode, compete with friends for points, battling in waves of gunpla that spawn according to given themes. Check the leaderboard to see how you rank for total GP earned. Okay, so Bounty Hunter is I just get into a fight with this one guy, and then Challenger is um, wave defense. So, right. All signs point to Bounty Hunter as get good parts and money. So we will do Bounty Hunter. like a McDonald's toy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Connecting to the network. Wow, that took a while. Jesus Christ. What, do we have? What, the, what the fuck do we have in this mom and pop store? Dial up. Okay. Choose the opposing team's gunplay data and battle against each other. The winner of the match will earn prize GP. The opposing team must have at least two members and be in multiplayer mode with the same number of members as your team. Escorts cannot be deployed in this area. The stronger your opponent gun, the stronger your opponent's gunpla is, the higher the prize in GP will be. What? You can earn GP in battle by destroying the opposing team's gunpla and removing their parts. Set your sights on opponents who have parts you need for strengthening your gunpla. If if your name enters the leaderboard weekly while you are online, you will enjoy a special bonus on the amount of GP earned. Ah, yes. Good. Aim for the top of the leaderboard button to earn high amounts of GP. Hmm, okay. Okay, so let's see here. That's... Jesus goddamn Christ. That one has no name. That's basically just Unicorn. Uh, horrifying. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, or Barbados. Except, oh, look at this guy. I want to kill him already. <laughs> I wish to kill him already. Full armor, Mark II. That's actually somewhat respectable, yes. Uh, let's see here. So what's at the bottom of the list? Bottom of the list here. Uh, Dark Cavalry. That's a Gundam Leopard. That's actually kind of cool. Yamato Gundam Kai? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> um, Sir, that's just Burning Gundam. What are you doing? Actually, no, that's Shining Gundam. What the fuck? Okay, so... Hmm. I suppose I will... take the cheap seats here just to see what we can do. Triangle of Impressive Choices if you want. Okay, and that's... All oh, right, that's Rika, that's Ravioli and G on top of the Freedom Gundam, right? Oh, double, no, that's Gundam X. Okay, I recognize the head because <laughs> nobody wants Ravioli and G. Okay. Oh, well, let's get on with it. You can adjust various game-related settings here. These include game settings, control settings, sound settings, radio chat, and more. Up uploading and downloading of saved game data is also found in this menu. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, oh, and, uh, okay. Okay, well, I'm fighting against bots, so this is going to matter. Hmm. Oh, hold options. Oh. That's kind of weird, but okay, fine. <laughs> now entering the arena, punish to Marasai. That's double zero soundtrack. Okay, who are these fucking nerds? Ooh. Unfortunately, actually a threat. That's my hand! Blue Destiny Unit 2, I'm sorry, what? Which one of you actually had that? Oh, this asshole has funnels too, right. Ah! God damn it! I nope. Nope, not dead. Fuck you. Almost forgot I could heal. Any special reason you're making all the noises, son? I figured that beam was not going to punish me like that, but okay, fine. I figured walking into it after it's fired wouldn't do that much damage. Just cut him into. Wow! <laughs> Absolutely dismantled! <laughs> wow! Fuck! Okay! 
That's rather overpowered and tells me that melee is fucking good. If you can wind up doing that to someone, it's gonna make mean they're really, really not gonna be too much of a threat if you can just juggle them into a corner and have them fall to pieces. Pew, 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 pew. All right. Good. Hmm. Dodge. <laughs> hey. Ho. Ha. Hmm. Interesting. I know what that is, and that's very useful! Abdur- uh, hmm. Mirage shot? Useful when uh, equipped rifle 5, 100% damage of range DPS. Hmm. Gun barrel appears to split in two and attacks all enemies along a straight line. Um. Okay, that's either, um. Hmm. Okay, that's either Wing Zero or Double Zeta Gundam. Okay, I got one head. Um, information. Action becomes selectable if either of the above part is set. Oh, okay, I need the head. Okay, good. All right. Okay, beam rifle bazooka. Ch uh, what the? That's the fucking Shenanju! Okay, that's fucking sick, but okay. And then, well, this goofy thing. <laughs> GMs. I don't hate double zero. I feel like double zero is overexposed, though. So you know what? We're just going to take the Shenanju thing. Funny I say that because I feel like Unicorn is also overexposed, but this is... It depends on what Bandai is trying to sell. Okay, um... Heavy Arms is legs. And... Gundam Double X is legs. Interesting. And 27 low-quality plastic. Need to make some modifications here, because now we actually have... Hmm, interesting equipment here. So time for cursed memes? We were already cursed, I just kind of recovered, though. I recovered and made something that's actually somewhat kind of upstanding, but now we're doing even more cursed memes. Okay. Okay, so we've got, uh... Wow, Jesus Christ, that does less damage? Oh, it's level. So, level... Right, so the level is what defines the damage. And everything else is shit, depending on the level. Okay, all right. You could use it for style points, but in the end, if it's a higher level, it's going to do more damage. But, well, we are taking a step down. Um, yes, Blue Destiny, because exam system, haha. <laughs> Okay, three Gundam, I don't need that. Legs, what do these give me? Absolute, okay. okay. Trent, what now? Who did Trent what now? I saw that, what was that? Radiator fins? You can mash your spare parts into the parts you want to level them up. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so, um... Hmm. Oh, hang on. Yes, God. Low-grade, low-grade plastic is raw XP. Right. Um. So how would I do this transform thingamabob? How would I be, how, how would I level with you know junk parts? Because I don't think it's explained to, explained to me how the hell I do that. Hmm. 
No. Oh, you don't have access to it yet. Oh, okay. Well, oh well. Need to make progress, but okay, fine. Just the minor adjustment of, ahaha, I have the exam system now. Am I gonna paint that? No. No, I am not going to paint that. It could stay there like that. It's cursed. Better put on the double X lights. Why, though? Oh, damn it. There it is again! Damn my Westerner hands expecting X to be accept. Well, actually, yeah, no, it is. I do get more, so yes. If it adds something, it's immediately, you know, in for consideration. Right, though. Back. More weapons, but none of them are actually better, which is kind of unfortunate. But okay, back to the arena. More points. integrated weapons in the parts. Oh. Also, there's a story a story in this game. Yes, there's a story. We're, um, we're helping a mom-and-pop gun plus shop uh, not be muscled out of town by um, fucking uh, uh, Boeing, <laughs> I guess? The fucking military industrial complex that's building a space elevator but also has a subdivision for selling plastic crack? El Gundam. L Gundam. Sir, that's Sir, sir, that, that that that's uh that's not tequila Gundam from Gundam Breaker. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to revoke your license. Okay. Well you know what? He's got the death scythe. I want that. I want I'm going to take that from you. Also I think this guy actually no, wait. No, I think he's got Ultron's uh yeah. Uh, yeah, Ultron, yeah. Ultron's weapon, but, uh, yeah, no, that's, yes, I want that, thank you. Um, hmm, smoothbore gun, Gundam Barbados, uh, high new Gundam, hmm. Shouldn't, probably shouldn't go too far up the list here. Bone Lash, B Gundam Bone Steel. <laughs> okay, so you know what, just L Gundam, because he's cheap. Okay, so now we want to just farm them out of weapons. We know we can be beat two of these guys at the lowest level. <laughs> Good lord, that looks so fucking great. It's completely normal, but fuck, it looks weird. Good. Good, we're in it now. It's like I'm wearing a giant foam fucking helmet. It looks so like we're playing. We're, we're unfortunately my my paint job on the other parts is so good it makes plastic parts look even more fucking plastic. What is with those legs, my man? Is that a per are those perfect Xeon legs? Oh god, all of my parts. Okay, you're the threat. Not now! Hey. 
No, those are Rosen Zulu legs. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't know who this builder is, but he's apparently a legs man. That was my concern. The only thing I've seen that fucking huge is the fucking the the, the, the fucking perfect Zeon, which is just I, I don't know. Someone else is someone's a legs man and also has a giant S fetish. That's what that thing says to me. And he's fucking dead. Didn't even survive until I triggered exam. Authentic. Now I'm gonna sit here and poke at you. Ah! Well, that's what I get for playing with you. Aha! Uh-oh. Well, good thing I heal. Oh. Excuse me. Okay, well, we got the death scythe, however, I'm going to be keeping the exam parts, because that, uh, why not have the exam system? But fuck, that takes forever to charge. Okay, 46. Okay, good. We can actually go buy a model kit now. Got two death scythe parts. I wonder if we got the fucking actual scythe, though, because that's what I want. Okay, piercing slash mirage colloid? Okay, um... Hmm? Build? Okay, okay, so a uh, burning Gundam fucking special attack. Okay. Actually, wait. And how? That's the fucking butterfly wings, isn't it? Jigen, how are you? <laughs> hmm. Oh! Well, fuck you, I gotta have. I'm not what I wanted! Yes, but also no! Gatling shield, Gatling shield, and Gatling shield. Death side head, which is really nice, but Ash. <sighs> Seed, but at fucking Stargazer apparently was good. I've never fucking seen it, though. But good. Death side parts, good, good. I want my Edgelord parts. Ashtray Gold Flip. No. Burning Gundam Arms. That I will accept. Right. We're doing that again because I want that fucking scythe. Haha. <laughs> if you're gonna make me use a melee weapon, it's going to be that scythe. Also, hey, look, assault waves. Good, something I recognize in a series I like. Okay, nerds, once more with feeling. Actually, no, not you. You're a threat. God for core block. Hey, you fuckers. Okay, you just want to die first today, don't you? All right, fine, fine. Fuck you. You're my target anyway.
actually get to use the exam system now. Okay, finally, some fucking breathing room. I better have gotten that fucking sight. Yes, look. Ow! Alright. You're getting the new type early warning system. As soon as I have control of my fucking suit, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's do it. Ah, it doesn't make the fucking sound, come on! <laughs> INFINITE POWER! <laughs> Fucker. And that's why we have that. It actually does, it's just very quiet. Oh. Not the voice part, though. Well, that's kind of half the fun of actually activating that. It's incredibly fucking annoying, but it's memorable. Okay, so 63 GP now. Ah, yes. Grinding. Okay. NCDUM! <laughs> oh, guys! Ah, uh, uh, we're putting the cheating systems on now. Uh, what happens if we put NTD and Transam and Exam on at the same time? I don't think we'd be able to survive that. Um, um, uh, huh. I need parts for that though. Banshee, I need, okay, I need a unicorn, Banshee, or Fennec's body. Okay. Oh god damn it again. Oh. Well. Okay, so now we're just going to go back into the back room, put the banshee banshee body on and then proceed to have also NTD because we need infinite fucking power. Cuz you know what what's you know what's better than two kind of unnerving automated systems that increase mobile suit performance through the ceiling? Two systems that do that. Okay, so assemble, we need the chest piece, which is the Banshee, which actually gives us some bonuses too. Full cyber, <laughs> full psycho frame duplicate. Automatic system duplicate, mm -hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, hmm. These are objectively worse, unfortunately. All right, so, um, unfor unfortunately, we're gonna have to get rid of boost, boost Tackle to put in NTD. Because we need two of these, clearly. Clearly, we just need to have two of them. Okay, do these hands give us anything? Burning, well, actually, hmm. Physical guard. I kind of like my durability. So, you know what? No, I'm going to keep the Zaku. Hmm. They will override each other. Oh, no! Well, one's on cooldown. I could use another one. I don't want the fucking beam trident, though. But okay, I'll use it. Nah. Okay, I don't need that because I I would like to have my uh, my exam system.
Oh! Oh! Hmm. Vulcans. Beam sword. Right, beams. Well, um, I guess I'm putting... Well, hmm. 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 I get anything else? Nope, that's all I got. See how this works now. Back to the Colosseum. So you use options with O in battle and swap between them with the D-pad. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. So that's what that's the button that does nothing. That now does something. Because I actually equip the Vulcans. So good. Good, I have a backup ranged weapon. <laughs> it just looks so stupid! That's the least heretical thing that I've done, but Jesus Christ, it looks awful! All right, fuckers, let's go. Oh. Oh, right, those are the repair kits I hit with Circle. Okay, I was wondering how the fuck I used those. Okay, so... Ah! Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! At all. And then the head Vulcans were removed from the mobile suit. Ow. <laughs> and then I just kind of magically dodged those attacks. Oof. It seems like one of you just takes- you just take turns being the most annoying fucking thing ever. Well, if I have control here for a second. There we go. Alright, so. Uh, you. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's the, it's the fucking encounters in space being shot. That's what it does. Okay. This shit's getting really annoying with your big stupid sword and it destroying my parts. Getting real tired of your shit. Damn it. The targeting system just kind of detaches and reattaches when I don't want it to. I'm not really doing that on purpose. Haha! -ha! Uppercut! 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 Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Bullied into the ground. Give me back my fucking arm. Okay, you know what? I, 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 since apparently there's no downside, I'd like to get up though, please. Um, aside from actually having to look at the man. <laughs> Give me your fucking scythe! I don't want the fork! I want the scythe! The scythe is cooler! 
Oh. 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 Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's a little bit more than the encounters in space beam shot. That's, uh... Ooh. Haha, money. Blade Twister? Okay, that's an action. Twin Blades. Come on! Episode 22 of Higarashi is out. Oh boy! And ooh. ooh. We'll strike that. Ah, wait, seed. No. Fuck you. Rosen's. Oh, yes, the legs. Now I have fabulous legs. And high heels. Strike new. Ah. Uh, Yes, but also no. At this point, I could probably buy the fucking death side kit, so hang the fuck up here. Oh man, you are just not lucky today, huh? I like to think that God is saving my good rolls for something. I like to think I still have Michael Noah's luck. I'd like to still, I'd like to still think that I have a bit of Wonder Boy's luck, but those rolls are being saved for something. Maybe it's GameStop stock. We'll see about that. It keeps closing up, but it isn't up at ridiculous levels yet. The rocket will go off. Though. I, I, I really hope. Okay, so Oofdom, Akai, Jagan, Giradoga, Victory Gundam. Um, well, uh, we have 80,000 fucking GP. Um... Stop bothering me, I don't need your text. I don't need your text prompts, I know what I'm doing. Once you've got enough of a suit's parts, you can just buy the suit if it's being mean. Well, good, but it seems because it seems like this is uh, this is going to be where we are right now, which is incredibly fucking annoying. But okay, fine. I guess we'll just beat the shit out of him again. I will teach these fucking kids a the, the same lesson over and over again until I actually get my shit. Oh, so yeah, we need something that actually um, it takes the price down for the, the, the EX actions for exam and MTD because sweet mother of fucking Christ, it takes forever. I look like I'm doing a very strange rendition of Gundam Maxter, honestly. Yes, hello. Hey, no, wrong one. Ah, god damn it. Ah, yes, the big sword. Where I just keep mashing circle and absolutely wreck a guy. I'm getting real tired of your big sword bullshit. My big sword's better than your big sword. I swear to God. Eat shit. Ha ha! Ha Camera, please. Thank you. Camera? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Okay. It's pretty much official. Anything with tackle suddenly becomes the most annoying fucking thing in the universe. I'd like to lock onto the enemy, please. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, and then, wow, okay, that can get interrupted very easily. Ah, 
Aha! Aha! Where's my fucking scythe? Give me my fucking scythe! Give me my fucking scythe and the suffering ends! Ah, that! Oh, whoa! I saw it fly off! Where the fuck is it? I oh, wait, no, it's over there. Hey! Son of a whore! God damn, the target system is fucking weird. Sometimes it does what I want, and then other times, no. Uh oh. Wait. 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 Ah, they do it. They do cancel each other out. They don't exactly have the same effect, though. I think I get more boost with NTD. <laughs> I really fucking hate your boosting bullshit. Fucking tackling nonsense. Get out of here. Give me my fucking sight. Where's my sight? Give it to me! I'm going to be rich before I get this fucking site. I didn't get any melee weapons at all. Son of a bitch. Okay. This is gonna take some reflect thinking here, I suppose, but maybe we'll get on with the story. Maybe we'll go buy some new parts. Be right back, folks. I gotta go to the bathroom. Much better. Okay. I'm gonna try one more fucking time to fight these people and try and get the scythe before we actually go do some story missions because I think we need to make some progress. I mean, I can cash out and go buy, uh, you know, one of the bigger kits that I have, like one of the better kits that I have available to maybe get some good parts. But I want the damn scythe. Sue me, I'm an edgelord. I kind of like it. I, you know... In terms of uh, Gundams that I like, it's uh, Heavy Arms is the normie one that I pick because I do like Heavy Arms, but it's because I'm afraid to say I like Death Scythe because I'm an edge lord. That was me in my childhood. Okay, so um, I want to see something real quick. No, no, there's no selection for uh, any soundtrack, so oh well. But right, yeah, yeah, no, I, I I want the Death Scythe. I want to make something that's absolutely horrifyingly cursed and it uses a scythe.
Have you seen the victory of the losers heavy arms design goop? No, I haven't. What, what is that? Whoa. Okay. Just, uh, Shanghai now. Sure. Okay. How many times do I have to teach you fucking kids this lesson? So Sandrock was, Sandrock was my fave out of the wingsuits. Killer, you're kind of a unicorn, because frankly, Sandrock has nothing going for it. There's nothing interesting about Sandrock. I think that's Sandrock's biggest flaw, but if you like it, Godspeed, sir. But of all, out of all the wingsuits, it has the least interesting parts. And the Endless Waltz redesign really didn't do anything aside from give it really big fucking pokey sticks. Ow. My parts. Ow. I'd like to lock on now. Thank you. Damn it. Eat shit. Oh, well, good. You walk into it. Walk into that shit. I'm just gonna pretend I'm playing EDF and I'm a fucking air raider call in, calling in fucking 130mm Gatling fire. Also, Big Sword. Yeah. No. Ow! Ooh, that was a little close. I swear to God, this tackling bullshit. Can you just stop, sir? How can you use that at multiple times like that? <laughs> Fucker. Wow, you weren't even fucking looking at me. Um... Haha! Haha! Give me your fucking scythe! Just waltz into that. No, it's just that you're using an incredibly overpowered ability that takes up like the entire fucking screen. Cause you're shit. Okay, so. Yeah, no, I just got a Gatling shield again. Okay, it's not gonna give it to me. Fine. Fuck you. Alright, so let's buy a couple of model kits and see what kind of parts we get out in terms of levels. I, of course, didn't, do not have the suit, because why would I? So, hmm. You might have to come back uh, to them. 90% sure it pulls a random set of parts from between the suits you fight. Right, okay, so it, it might have predetermined which which parts are up for grabs, 
and the scythe is not one of them. Hmm. Which is incredibly fucking annoying. So I'm going to go and buy the most expensive suit here, which I think is actually the Victory Gundam. Well, it's actually the normal Gundam and the Victory Gundam. Okay. I'm not going to use half of this shit, but oh well. Stand up to the victory. Beautiful box art. Yes, immaculate box art. And buy the regular Gundam, just for the sake of buying all of that shit. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hyper Bazooka, just in case we needed a new ranged weapon. We're going to be using the Blue Destiny head because... Uh, NTD, or uh, exam. Okay. Right. Hmm. I will see the specifications, but they are all level one, which is somewhat disappointing. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> uh, when your budget beam saber uh, breaks its focusing laser and uh, proceeds to be a beam fan. Congratulations, you've ranked up. Your BBR build breaker rank shows how far a player's game progresses is. Okay, game's progress is. BBR increases as you create Gunpla and complete Gunpla battles. As you increase, more costumes will be available in the shop. Do I get more fucking kits, though? Ah, I did. Huh. Okay, so... League Milt... Yeah, no, that's more Victory Gundam stuff. Okay. Look, Goon, that Deem Saber is your biggest fan. Ha! <laughs> but there's the actual Gym 3. Uh, hmm. So yes, it appears that, uh, buying shit... <laughs> buying shit is a perf... Is a actually a... It's a, a, a rational way to victory. Welling up money and buying shit is, in fact, uh, a good way to brute force the game. You got that kit because it shares parts with the Victory Gundam. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so... Right, so... We got a bunch of shit here. Does it actually mean anything? No, none of not all of this shit has the same stats. Got a shitload of Gatling shields that I can probably melt down for plastic. All of them are terrible. Everything is inferior to the beam spray gun, which is kind of hilarious. Hmm. Okay. I think we could do... Actually, the Banshee kit is also better than these. Which is... Wow, okay. Do any of the... Ah, wait, wait, wait a minute. Well, I, again, I lose the armor. So, yeah, no. Oh, I like how the Rosen Zulu parts are normally sized on my suit, which is kind of funny. Okay. Victory Gundam legs. These have no real difference. Great. Okay, so Gym 3 backpack, we already had that. Hmm. Victory Gundam gives us actually 5% more boost for the loss of a couple hundred hit points. Hmm. Interesting. And then there are a billion Gatling shields. Gatling Shields, which are all objectively worse than everything that I'm using. Hmm. I'm gonna put Tackle on, because that is just really fucking spammy. It seems to be the best fucking thing ever. So as for parts, yeah, we're not really making any headway. Hmm. Probably melt some of this shit down for plastic, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Level tops anything in this game. It would appear so, so getting the... I will actually, you know what? I'm not going to melt down any of that shit for plastic, because I, if I can use that as, you know, a leveling fuel once I unlock the, you know, get better, you know, like, once I, you know, the, the combining thing, which apparently I don't have access to, if I could use that as fodder to make my parts better, I could probably use it. I could probably use all of those junk parts, so I'm just going to keep... Okay, receive and modify missions here. Left stick to change to select any mission. Press square to change the difficulty. Casual recommended for inexperienced for inexperienced action game players, as no penalties are given. Standard is suitable for players familiar with the series. Hardcore is meant for players. Ah, yeah, 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 right. All missions are more difficult than earlier stages, but you can obtain better items than standard mode. Okay. Okay, so now we have the uh, now we have the actual stages here. So let's go uh, let's go give this a try here and get on with the story. Maybe we'll unlock something better. Clear a gunpla battle. Uh, clear a gunpla battle mission by defeating your enemies, defeating the enemies you encounter within the battle area and the final boss that lies in wait. If your durability falls to zero and become and become and become immobilized, translation, you can return to the front line again by using uh, either using a retry ticket. To deploy again, or getting one of your teammates to reboot you. Retry tickets? This is a gacha game, isn't it? But actually, no, it is a gacha. It totally is a gacha game, because looks at what we're doing. Don't rely on rely on AI teammates too much. Uh, well, um, I wasn't going to. I, m part of my mind had already, uh, uh, you know, th th this plucky little, you know, shop girl here, She's cute, however, part of my mind had, had already made her just kind of a waifu trophy piece. So I guess I'll just keep doing that. She's cute. Don't rely on her to do anything actually hard. Okay, those are GM command types. That's a dragon Gundam. Oh, that's a camper. That man's dangerous. Actually, there's three chem first. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Fucker. Chain mines. Ah, good. I was told these are overpowered. Right? Uh, apparently there's more. I'm gonna wait for the AI to do this action which exposes them before I go over there and kill them myself. Um, uh, on. That's not what I wanted, okay. Right, flicking the right stick moves that. Uh, sweetheart, could you just, uh, just stand there for a quick second? Just, uh, yeah, right there. Don't move. You move, damn it. <laughs> what, you thought this was going to be a heartwarming romance anime? No, I was using you as a fucking forward artillery target. I was doing, using you as an artillery beacon. Get with it, girl.
Ah, good. Exam system runs out. Oh, a loot box. Nope, damn it. Low quality plastic. By the way, will you be re revisiting this goon or playing it casually? Well, it was voted by the servants, so I will be playing it until it's complete. We'll see exactly how long that takes. Or rather, voted by the Bosch, my bad. Duh. So this was voted for, so I'm playing it, so I'm in for the long haul. Casually, I will see how that goes. That's a noble gun to blow. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no. She's entering bitch mode. Oh, oh no. Put that thing down. Okay, good. We're safe. Are you game for me co-oping with you when I can? We'll see, I suppose, but I kind of want to actually play the game myself rather than having overpowered teammates win the game for me. There's kind of very little challenge if I, you know, rely on overpowered teammates. What is this girl's front line? I'm just gonna win by having incredibly good support squads. Aha! Oof! Ow! Moving on. Look at Gundam and see. You know what a good, uh, a good Gundam game? What if we made it a button mashing brawler? Japan has these weird fucking expectations and things. But yeah, I don't know. They just don't like big clunky mech combat games. They want everything to be this. Or a large portion of them do, which is kind of fucking annoying. But one day I will have my clank. One day. There is a Gundam gadget game. Yes, I know. It also doesn't really work on emulators. <laughs> What the hell is that? Okay, now that's just another noble gun. Okay. Another noble gun. They want their giant stompy robots to be spectacular brawlers. Actually, they want their giant st stompy robots to not be robots with people in suits. Really, that's about it. They're taking mobile suit really fucking literally. It's like it's fucking common Rider. Open the box. Low quality plastic. Hey, don't you dock Common Rider? I mean, Common Rider's cool. The only problem is, yeah, no, I kind of want my mech games to be mech games and not the Common Rider. If you like Common Rider so much, make a Common Rider game. We'll play it. What about Crossfire on the PS3? I heard nobody had any good, any, anything good to say about that, unfortunately, but I never got a chance to play it. All I know is that people did not like it. It's janky as fuck. Well, I played Journey to Jabro, and that shit is incredibly janky. Oh, look, Rising Gun. There you're Zaku Wums, I think.
Even then, Crossfire had terrible uh, had terrible jank movement controls. Maybe one day I'll actually get a chance to play that and see. But yeah, no. Uh, Journey to Jabro's controls were really fucking awful. I got used to them though, but oh fuck, those were bad. The fact that they designed mobile suits based around the entire cast of Sailor Moon, Moon amuses me beyond belief. Well, uh, <laughs> that'd be just Noble Gundam. That's just G Gundam things. G Gundam's a wild fucking ride, and anyone who says it isn't- Oh, speak of the fucking devil! <laughs> right, as I was saying, anyone who says G Gundam isn't good just hates fucking fuck. I'm sorry. Dana! 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 Oh, speaking of which. <laughs> this burning hand of mine glows with an awesome power. It tells me literally everything in the area is a threat and I should kill it as fast as humanly possible. Kind of like that. Later, <laughs> later, Shining Gundam. FYI, AI teammates are worse than useless. If anything, they help the enemy team. AI nepotism. Wow, shit. Misa, I'm sorry. Um, you're kind of just <laughs> you're you're kind of just a wall ornament now. <laughs> I figured the AI would be bad, but yeah, no, nah, um, she's cute. That's about it. I never rely on the AI to do anything. I just look at them and I'm angry when they don't actually do anything. <laughs> I don't rely on them, but I will call them shit when they don't do normal things that a teammate would do. Okay, Shining Gundam Head. Nice. Although, these are actually level 2 and 3 parts, which is something to actually note. Level 3 Giant Bazooka. That might be our best weapon. Okay, Kemper Head is level 3 as well. Zaku. Ah, well, I can swap out my Zaku arms. Backpack, Kemper. That. Hmm, neat. Okay, and low-quality plastic. Ah, uh, yeah, the martial arts hands are broken as fuck. Wow. You, you, you'd think a melee-focused game, uh, me melee-focused parts and suits in a game that's actually pretty much 90% melee combat would be good to suspectly powerful? Wow, I never would have guessed. It's just the main problem with this shit. Ranged combat in this game feels like an afterthought. It is basically just mash melee combos and stun lock people, which is this is every fucking game, guys. We have this same thread every single day. You can make absolutely nightmarish range builds, yes, but I feel like the game really isn't pushing you towards that. You kind of have to force it. They only built Noble Gundam, but there was one for each Senshi, including a nuclear arm of one based off of Saturn. Ah! I haven't seen those variations. Hmm. Okay, so now with all that right now, we need to go into setup. So we have advanced a bit and gotten some parts that we could actually use. Look, one of the round things at the side of the platform. Interesting. I will, I will in a moment. But like martial arts hands. I mean, we could. I don't really want the beam tridents, but sure. Um, it's level two. I will just punch everything. Hmm. Okay, so I'm fairly certain. Yeah, yeah the giant bazooka. Yeah, no, that actually. We actually improved upon the spray gun. Finally, amazing. These would help us. However, uh, exam. Okay, GM command, hands. Actually, no, the arms. Okay, so... Hmm. Ah, wow, okay. So, we get the same... Huh. We lose the physical guard, but actually gain a thousand hit points. That's very strange. Hmm. None of those are any higher level. Same diff there. Zaku shield is already level three. And hmm, I lost my, uh, because I'm not using a beam weapon, I lost that at special ability. Oh, well. Do 
you didn't equip it. What now? Oh. Is it the shield? Ah. Ah, right, okay. It's the shield. Right, okay. That comes from the shield, because I'm using the arms as the shield as well, because built-in shield. Okay. That makes sense. It's a bit strange, but sure, fine. No paint, but we're we're in a transitional phase here. Good lord, it's clip <laughs> the bazooka is clipping into that. Oh no. It's even more cursed. Okay, so what are these? What's this? Oh. Up. Okay. Up. Now I can stare my abomination directly in the face. So, hmm. Except the same mission get no. So let's make some progress until we get that combined thing. When playing a mission you have cleared, you can change your escort machines to those saved in the design plans. Okay, the change will not be reflected in the story cinematics. Oh no. I'll break the ice. Okay. Have you seen the scale Gundam that is computer controlled and can walk? They just finished building. Can't do much more than activate its boosters and walk, but it's to scale. Yes, I know, and that's fun. I also know that China's kind of terrified of it and thinks it's actually real. <laughs> but fuck you, Japan, you go make Gundam real. Fuck it. Ooh, oh boy. Hey, I know this one. Hey guys. It's a bazooka with splash damage and instant knockdown. My favorite bad Japanese video game trope. It's fucking cancer. Wow. It's like they never fucking learn with this shit. But also, yes, now I just punch things. Kempfer, what the fuck are you doing? Wow, it's almost like they keep doing the same fucking shit, even though it's awful. Guys, you're not the Black Tricers. You're not that cool. Goon see some of the player Gundams. They're probably awful to cancerous. I mean, some of them probably have some originality in them, but, uh, yeah, no, this game... The, the, the mechanics of this game are things that I really hate. This is kind of, This is alright to me, but honestly, I would not want to play this game competitively, because I know, for a fact, it will just revolve around shit that I fucking hate. And the shit is there because it's Japanese video game business. And the shit never fucking changes. So, personally speaking, you know, Battle Operations 2 is good for a diversion, but I really do not like playing the game. And this game feels like the same shit, just with more PvE content, which, yes, I like that. It's kind of like right now that, you know, I'm moving on to a stage in my life where I actually like more PvE content because it means an actually casual experience. Because if you're playing competitively, it's never fucking fun if you lose. So if you're gonna pick a competitive game, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna pick one that, you know, you actually like. Like, it has shit you actually like. And you revolve around things that you actually can get behind, or you're never gonna be good at. In contest to that, PvE content is just do what works. And you can actually have a casual fucking experience. Which is why I like Outbreak right now with Call of Duty Cold War, because, hey, I can actually play fucking Cold War and not want to pull my fucking hair out after fucking five minutes. But all of the tryhards cry, no, no, don't give people PvE content, it's boring, when really they would just want more easy targets. So, I like this. Or rather, I find this acceptable, even though I, I know yeah. the core mechanics. If I wanted to push this thing to a competitive limit, I know it's going to revolve around shit that I don't like. 
like combos and animation cancels and stun frames and all this awful shit. Why did we fuck? Why was there a Kapool part in there? What the fuck? But at least because it's PVE like this and the difficulty is manageable, I can at least kind of just play it however I want, really, and not really be too, you know, you know, invested or rather, you know, too crippled because I want to play it a certain way. Chests have all sorts of random shit in. All the other chests that I've gotten so far have just had fucking low-grade uh, low plastics. That's the first one that I think that I actually had a part. This is pure PvE and no PvE, PvP at all. Well, good, but you see what the thing, you, you see how it works. P the PvP component, question mark, is fighting other people's Gundams. Or mo mobile suits in general. But because the net, because they apparently didn't want to bother with net code, they don't actually have multiplayer aside from co-op. Which is nice. If I have to have these games, this is kind of how I want them. And, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying get rid of PvP content altogether. Fine, but don't force me to play it like it's the only fucking thing. Which is a main problem a lot of these games have. They just kind of force you to say, play PvE or go fuck yourself. Like Rainbow Six Siege, which actually has a PvE element. Does it get updates? No. Does it get attention? No. Is it a facet of the game? No. Actually, some people wish it was gone because then they'd have more morons to shoot at in the competitive mode. That's what I hate. A game that could have a PvE element has PvE elements, PvE elements that are actually a good start but are underwhelming because they don't really give you all that much progress and rewards. That's just kind of kept sidelined because, yeah, gotta have esports. why I really like the SD series, none of this combo and frame cancelling shenanigans. Yeah, that's just a tactics game. That's just Fire Emblem, but it's fucking Gundams. That's perfectly fine, and that's, it shows that yes, you can have, you can have things other than fucking, yo, melee focused beat-em-up games with the Gundam license, guys. But then also on the flip side of that, Rise from the Ashes was, hey, you could have a MechWarrior-esque light fucking mech simulator. You know, with your giant robots, and it'd actually be a fun time. But, no, those ain't popular, so we don't get more of those. And when we get remasters, because we're not Japanese, we don't get them. Because fuck you. Battle Ops is kind of annoying when you get a game with lag types are... Okay, right. So, latency issues. Yeah, probably. Yeah, if people start lagging around, the incredibly, you know, razor wire-focused timing game suddenly becomes kind of weird when you have to deal, deal with latency issues. Uh, that is a man... What the fuck? That is a... Garen Zabi? What? That man is wearing a fucking Xeon officer's uniform on his mobile suit. Who is that man? Does he thirst for the strength of its feet? Of the... Of us, of the people. What's going on here? Gian, are all. Wait a minute, that hair. Wait, wait, that hair. That. Holy sweet mother of God, it's Gato. <laughs> this man made Gato a mobile suit. Good Christ. I, 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 did not, I did not contemplate the amount of cancer that could possibly be here. Sweet mother of fucking Christ. That man and his ideals. <laughs> okay, that's original. I'll give him that. Match and what I got was basically a COD player region. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> okay. I forget what these are called, but they're from fucking, uh, what is it? Turn A. The Blade Runner Gundam that I have yet to actually finish as well. There are the Kapools, though.
I would love to play the SD games, but the Chibi Gundam look ruins it for me. I can kind of squint and get along with and get, you know, get past that, but we could really actually use a somewhat realistic and serious tactic stick, you know, with Gundams. We could use front mission, but it's Gundams. That would be nice. It has two extra bazooka. Hmm. I will consider that. I will consider this, but it is a lower level than the gun tank pack that I put on my back for memes. Or rather the same level, and... Ah, oh, look, it's Ravioli and G. <laughs> Nobody watched you! Everyone was watching Build Fighters try! Nobody watched you! Get out of here! <laughs> I watched Ravioli and G. I watched one single episode and was mystified at how bad the direction seemed. It's kind of all over the place. Boyardi and G. <laughs> okay, good. She can she can sit there punching things. Or rather sit there firing at my target. Good. I'm a genie. Oh no! That is one part of it that I, I, I'm, because I never actually sat down and watched it, I did miss I'm a genius, oh no. But oh well. I haven't even finished watching Double Zeta yet, because, oh fuck, it's, it has not been a good time for that show. Good lord, that show fucks around so much. Alright, multi-blast. Okay, that's a bazooka power-up. Interesting. Force extend. Hmm. One way of doing multiplayer that I say only one game do is what was done in Armored Core Formula Front, where you build a mech, then make an AI pilot it, so in multiplayer, no human is at the controls, only the player crafted AI. That would be interesting. That's kind of like, you know, you know, uh, mecha, you know, Mecha-based horse, or yeah, you know, mecha-based horse racing. That's kind of interesting, but eh. Some people want to be more involved, and I can respect that. It's just that holy sweet mother of fucking Christ, this beat 'em up shit is incredibly annoying. Else, sumo heads, because why not? Hmm. Okay. So, well. We did get some parts, but I don't want to actually, well, use them. But yes, we did actually, we got two, well, uh, level two. I think it's level two. I'm not sure. I have to check, but there's the chem for backpack again, which we may use. Zeta gets dark, double Zeta is what the fuck is this? Yeah, pretty much. I like how we're, ex we're going so fast, I don't even have like a, like a, it's not, it, it knows what the story is and it's just kind of proceeding. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Sir, that is one hell of a bootleg Rolling Stones shirt. スキンの技術もあるところは全然違うね。おい、シンエレ。こんなところでこれはハイムロボティクス。チームエンジニアのカドマ。Hey, wait a minute. Is there an Anna in there that you happen to be uh happen to be omitting? Is there a Is there another Is, is there another two syllables that you happen to be omitting from that name, sir? And they're involved in plastic crack fucking horse racing. Why do I? Why am I surprised that everyone who shouldn't be involved in plastic crack horse or, or, or horse racing is involved in plastic crack horse racing? 
Okay, so let's check the shop here and see if we got anything new. A anyone can be involved in plastic crack. Yes, a it's a money laundering operation for everyone. <laughs> Okay, so did we get anything new? Oh, we got the camp. We okay, we got the kempfer and we got the G self, which we're not fucking buying. <laughs> kempfer though, kempfer's fucking neat. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, so nothing really astoundingly new, but I think we should start buying these just for the sake of getting them, and then we get progress, and then we get new shit for said progress. So um, let's just buy. Actually, yeah, no, let's just keep buying expensive things. I'm just gonna buy Gunpla and never build them. But then again, what I should do is buy the basics. That means I get more variants. Probably, anyway. Hmm. Because we bought the Zaku too, let's uh, buy the gun tech. Okay, so let's see what we unlock for that. Ah, good. More rank. Zaku Bazooka, Gun Tank Head, yes. Gun Tank, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're all fucking level one, but as soon as I unlock uh, un un unlock upgrades or combining, maybe we'll get that. Maybe we'll get them up, I suppose, but we probably won't be not, we'll not be using those. You have all the parts. Well, buying it just to get everything else and maybe actually unlock anything else. Did we unlock anything else? No. No, we did not. So, we did not get any variants for the Zaku, unfortunately. What a shame. Oh. Well, no. no it's the same thing. I didn't, I didn't comprehend the atmospheric pack, uh, little add-on to that. Yes, I know, the Kemper backpack, let's see about that. Ah! Good! Now we can use all those junk parts! Upgrade your gunpla by merging parts. In, a, in the assemble screen, select the desired part and press square to open the merge menu. Modify parts using one of the four methods. Plastic merge using plastic acquired from missions to strengthen the part. Pair merge, package merge using unwanted parts. Diverge merge? Huh? Derive, oh, derive merge. Combining two parts to create a new part. Oh. Science. Okay, so now that we've got all these useless junk parts, congratulations. We can now experiment. Diver Diverge Merge allows you to get other parts without needing to hunt them down. Well, uh, let's combine all these useless Gatling shields and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, confirm. Science! Okay, it's a different shield. Okay, so it, it upgraded to the other one. Okay, so I, I I have two of those, though. Yeah, the combined shield. I have two of those. No. Merge! Huh? Not derived. Well, I was looking at that because I wanted to experiment with all of these other parts. But apparently, the combined shield cannot be combined further, which is kind of weird. Use parts merge. No, that's for leveling, sir. I don't want to level them. I want to, I want to take the useless parts that I'm not using and turn them into different parts. Some can't be developed into other things. We, as I've seen, that one leads to a dead end. Well, let's try the beam trident because we've got plenty of them. No, the beam trident cannot be derived. Okay. Okay, fine then. We're just going to... Um, well... I suppose we amp the hands, because that's just... That, that's probably just the best way to go about this. Merge. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Select gunplay base part, and then you merge with one other gunplay material part, level up strength and ability. Yes. Hmm. 
Use the park merge on the Kemper backpack. Tazarin, let's not go all in on the backpack before we know what the fuck it does, or ever, even that it's good. So. Okay, pair merge. They, these don't really have abilities, so, but then again. Hang on, one moment, folks. All right, folks, I am back. Minor interruption, my grandmother could not find her phone. Right, okay. Okay, uh, let's see here. Pair merge lets, gets you abilities from the materials if they have it. Well, package merge just allows you to, en you to enhance with multiple things, but no ability. Yeah, I'm package. Because I think we're just gonna jam all the useless things into the hands. Okay, also, you seemingly, uh, depending on the level, right, depending on the level, you get more. Okay, so, check. Check, check, check. Check. I'm assuming you get also bonus points if you add more. Like, if you, if you have, uh, the same type of item. Check, check, check. Then plastic merges inject part with plastic that will make it stronger? Question mark. But I need level four equipment. Rather as be, 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 good as I can get here. So hang on here. All right. Initiate. Oh, not enough GP. <laughs> I don't have any money. Oh no. Well, I need to get go, go get Dosh now. Maybe I should have saved some money for that one. I'm out of money. Ace. Oh no. So, okay, the action. No, wait, no, 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 hang on here. Camper backpack. Forgot about that one. Now I, I probably should go back to Bounty Hunt to get the loads of e money. You spent too much gunpla on money on gunpla, you fool. Oh no. Help me, I can't pile, ba balance my budget. <laughs> gunpla is the most expensive thing on the list. Okay, this is the same stat, shockingly. So, yeah, how about that? Okay, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe. Oh, wait, no. It's probably an action part then. Okay. Yes! Okay, there we go. Okay, multiple. Yeah, well, now that we have that. Hmm. A powerful light attack that removes parts from the enemy. Hmm. Zuka splits into two and is held by both hands. Rapid firing, hyper. That sounds more. That, that sounds more effective. More bazookas, yes. Hmm? Hang on.
All right, more small interruptions. Uh, which one call it? My grandmother. Um, my grandmother was uh, perceptive and noted that she hadn't seen my cat in a while, and I, I know my cat by now. It's kind of cute, but also kind of annoying that uh, if you don't see my cat immediately upon walking into my house, that means the cat's stuck somewhere. <laughs> so, I'm learning. So, okay, so now we've got that, we can actually back out and then go do more bounties, I suppose, because we need more money. Right, so, money. So let's see if we can get that fucking scythe out of there while we're actually grinding for money. So try Challenger at some point, just to see what it is. I remember correctly, all the GPOs are in the game, and I'm sure the parts stats are usually decent, don't remember exactly. Well, we'll see, but it looks like because we now have combined, or merge, uh, we can make uh, whatever parts that we want, as strong as whatever the hell we want, we just need more raw resources. Right, I'm back. What nonsense have I missed? Not much, because I had to get up twice because of small interruptions. So now we're going to, um... Oh, sweet Jesus. Now we're going to fight other people, because, um... I need money. Hmm. Dark cat. Oh, it's that guy again. Yeah, there's that guy who's at a lower cost now. Just gun, gun damn. Yeah. G Gundam. Hmm. Jehudi. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it, somebody actually did it. Wrong fucking game series, though. All right. We're gonna fight the cheap seats to get more money, because I don't think... Yeah, we could risk higher, but frankly, it's just easier to take down, you know, relative nobodies. Plus, we have to test this bazooka pack. What suits are available is at least partially based on your, your battle rating, I suppose. That's an interesting background. That's an interesting BGM there. Can't place that one. Can't remember which Gundam had, you know, which Gundam had background music that was, you know, speaking Latin. Nope. Aha! But you see, you you've only just begun to suffer. You have only just begun to suffer. <laughs> Okay, I think I found something potentially broken to overpower. Hmm. Hmm. It seems that spamming bazookas is actually a pretty good way of going about this. Hmm. Good. I have attained the easy mode. Hyper beam javelin. Hmm. Oh, look, more bazookas. Oh, look, another Blue Destiny unit. Got heavy arms, legs. Hmm, that's weird. What if I told you you can go deeper? I believe it. There's probably some other means. Um, what am I not... I'm not... Maybe I'm not seeing it yet, but I... 
I could probably get something more obnoxious. I just need more parts. It's my assumption. We're doing that again just for the sake of it. Oh, damn it. I wanted to press square. Fuck. Ah, yes. Downside of the arena is that the parts will always be level one. Which is doable, I suppose, but this is where you get the, you know, the grinding loop here. You just need infinite fucking currency in order to combine junk parts and make them amazing, make them fucking amazing. I can see how the system works here, but it also, well, it's gonna require grinding. Alright. Ready to die horribly again? Uh, ow, I've been stunned. that? Special attack? What? <laughs> okay, that works. As of note, you can get the GPO2's launcher. Yes. Good. Nuclear beam cannon. Good money. Okay, spread shell. You have to explosion that the enemy... Uh, explosions to draw the enemy by firing special projectiles. Explosions continue for a short period. That is a nuclear weapon. Uh, hmm. Okay, hyper mode. Again with this shit. Uh, huh. Hmm. Dragon gun them. Right, okay. So I guess we got dragon gun them parts. Yes. Okay. Buster Gundam. <sighs> you know, Buster Gundam, I actually like your design. It's unfortunate that you are from Seek, and therefore are infinite trash. Return the... <laughs> collect all of the random parts and return them to the plastic vat. Okay, what I want to do, actually, I want to I want to look at that other attack because I think I could probably actually just now specialize in bazookas to be cheap. Okay, so that would be actions and um, armor repair is nice. However, um, we have the kits for that, and I don't think we need to repair our friendlies because fuck it. Hmm. There is boost tackle that is nice though. So, well, wow, fuck. So, hmm. Okay, got multi blasts. Hmm. We'll try this. Hmm. Nuclear weapons, yes, best thing against lumps of plastic. Yes! Plastic nuclear weapons. Damn the Antarctic Treaty! I guess we'll fight them again. Fuck it, whatever. These guys just became our fucking piggy banks. To note, you should be spamming your special attacks a lot to get experience for them. Yes. So that you can use them without restrictions. Yes. I also, uh, this is what I'm basically doing. I am, I am bazookas, and more bazookas, and more bazookas.
Oh no, my bazooka. Ah, yes, cluster orbits. Whichever one of you has that stun mechanic, I want you dead. Because they, they're stunning me repeatedly, and that's why I can't vote. Okay, then. Yes, money. Hey, random fucking bits and bobs here. Huh. So now we have some more money. So now we're gonna dump them into bazookas. Well, get them into martial arts too. Where are my martial arts hands? Where are the ones I'm fucking using? All right, I didn't level those up because I didn't have enough money. Yes, so good. So. Enhance hands. Because no matter what the fuck we're doing, we're still doing melee. G hammer. Hmm. Merge. Okay, so now we have a, we have compressed all of the junk parts into hands. I would, I would keep at least one of each type. Maybe so, but now we just... We, right now we need raw power. Okay, so giant bazooka. Let's see here. Merch. Or kid unlocking. I suppose so, yes. However, right now... Hmm. We'll see about what gets... A, what, what gets what. I'm not quite sure what I want to really go for, so... Hmm. I want raw power, plastic merge. Uh, yes. Actually, yes, because we have the. Mm. We have all this low quality plastic here. Yeah, ha ha, number go up. Ha 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 ha. I want more damage! Power! That's not going to make it all the way to the top, but I'm going to merge all of the shit into this anyway. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Max level is 30. Well, we're going to level 30, then. Oh, well. Hey, now I have more shit available. Hooray! Okay, so, um... Merch. And then merge all other forms of lesser weapons in with this much bigger weapon. I must have power. Unlimited power. Well, actually, let's back that up a bit. Well, now, fuck it, all in. Fuck you! Don't cuck me like that! Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back now and actually go to heads because we have a shitload of them. I don't think I'm gonna stop using the blue destiny helmet. The blue destiny head. Because, yeah, I, I, I kind of like having exam. Exam's really nice in a pinch. So I think I'm just gonna be using that until I unlock anything else. Whatever the fuck we do, honestly, I feel like if we keep going down this direction, most likely what we're going to wind up with is Blue Destiny, but it's uh, fucking GPO2, which is horrifying to consider, but a possibility. Those sumo heads have good effects on them. Like what? Need antenna? Magnet? Okay. Oh. Interesting. I will use one of them. So I will merge with, uh, hmm. Para merge, right. I will use the sumo heads, and I will get the bonuses. Assuming we actually get the bonuses. We've got two of them. Okay, scanning turrets. I'd like to see what those do. Okay. You select the carrier. Okay, so that I I get rid of magnetic coating, I suppose. Ah, yes, good, good, very good. Okay, so durability twenty percent adjustment without parts. Right. So adjustment means how durable our parts are, I suppose. Right. If I remember, that's if I actually yo know, interpreted that stat correctly. How stable we are. So how hard it is to knock our fucking parts off. So it's kind of like our poise, right? Hmm. Adjustment without parts is badly translated. Oh boy. It's how easy, easily you knock off enemy parts. Right. That's what I figured it was. Something like that, but uh... Okay, so... Yeah, no. Nah. Nah. All in. Let's go. All of them. Blue Destiny uh, Master Race here. Your ability is your part health. I, I sensed that one. That one was pretty easy to parse. Hmm. Okay, as for a chess piece, we need to go get a new one, I think. Hmm. We do lose that response time, though, but uh, having more health would be nice. Hmm. And there's the arms. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Yes. 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 I'm I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. We're going Kapool arms. Fuck them. <laughs> yes, good cancer. And we're upgrading the Kapool arms. Gonna need to slot a new shield, which is unfortunate. However, we'll deal with that. Well, actually... <laughs> I mean, it, it works, but it's... Hmm. Yeah, for us, also upgrade the... I'm assuming... Can we upgrade the action? I don't think we can upgrade the action. We just right now we just use the the upgrade system a lot, or rather use the abilities a lot, and then skill proficiency is the upgrade for that. Okay, so what happens when we merge a shield? Also, since you did a batch merge, you lost the Zaku 2 spike armor. Hmm. You need a pair merge to keep that stuff like that right. 
I'll remember that in the future, but right now we're playing around with common parts, and we can just buy that back, because I bought the kit. So... Hmm. Actually, we don't actually level up. What a shame. I believe highest guard is 75%. Hmm. Fuck it. Merge it anyway. It didn't increase, but merge it anyway. So hang on here. We're gonna do a parts merge. Play a uh, pair merge here. So we're gonna get uh, mm. Yes, good. Nano laminate armor. It hardens in response to damage. And then also the Monofsky flight. But can I only have one? It says it has four spots, though. Oh, right. Hmm. So, if I do this... Yes, right, okay. Right, no, it just puts it in there. Right, so it has that one has space for four. All right, so, good. And now all the other ability, all the other parts have nothing really going for them. So fuck it. Good. Good. Now we have created a, a new and horrifying weapon of death here. I want my fucking scythe though, but it, it's gonna look really weird in these fucking hands. <laughs> Good God. Good Christ, I look like a cl I look like a glow in I look like something the glow in the dark men call in to clean up their messes. Jesus fucking Christ. But okay, let's see how that's how this fights against the same opponents. Time to paint. Let's try let let's try effectiveness here, but painting yeah, we may have to. I look like a Death Squad mech, to be honest. This is like what this is like what I imagine they call in when the mooks see something they really shouldn't have, and all of a sudden, what, this thing just appears and swats a gym in half. Which is funny to say that because Blue Destiny had. your ass back here, you son of a bitch! Get back here! Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? Oh, ow. Oh. Damn it, that was the cluster bomb. <laughs> yes! Good power! Unlimited power! Okay, I think we can probably take on new opponents now. Okay, low quality fight. Yes, cool. You can fight up to like five enemies at once, by the way, if you're unhinged. If I'm unhinged or I have splash damage. But prob we're not gonna go that insane yet. 
But okay, so what should we do with what, what should we do with paint here? Because we're we're rolling around in something horrifying and also edgy. So, hmm. What should we do here? Okay, so you know what? Let's bring it all to white and just kind of imagine. Let's take in the machine. To understand what we are dealing with here. What comes to mind? R3, you have preset themes. It's white. Hmm. Your pick. Hmm. Elite Nate. Yeah. Ta <laughs> Titans! That's what I see! Titans! Yes! Exactly that! More of that, sir! <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted, thank you! <laughs> that is exactly the type of people who would fly this suit! Now I just need to be able to change the, my BGM to be always something from Sega Gundam, but I guess I'm, I'm... Gundam Breaker 3 has that, but I don't... Well, New Breaker has that, but I'm not sure if this game has that. Make the eyes and uh, eyes and such red or purple for the extra edge. Red does sound good. Hey, wait, that's just Shining Gundam with a beat. Ah! <laughs> Actually, no, that's just Victory Gundam. That's Victory Gundam with Shining Gundam parts. What's going on here? You're fucking with my eyes, man. I'm not... I'm not fucking with you, because I know your point value probably means you're really fucking good. Sal lands from... Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Oh, dear God! Wait, I... I can't... I... I... Oh! I can't fucking look at it! It's Metal Gear! I can't actually fucking turn the view around, though. Shit. Sahel... I, I, you know, it'd be nice if I could select just Sahel Anthropus and have that battle, but nope. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, uh, you and a corn. Uh, hmm. Oh, look, it's Ensign... It, yes, it, it's Ensign Riddy. Oh, no. Okay, uh, well, let's try that many. You don't have to fight. I'll, I'll fight it if it comes back again. I want to see. It's probably, it, I probably just reshuffled it, but I have to test my fucking machine. Ah, yes, I am. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that BGM is perfect. <laughs> I'm horrifying. the hit points now. I've got more damage coming in. Stupid fucking sword. Oh, come on! 
<laughs> I'd like to lock onto him, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm pretty powerful. I gotta watch my fucking health up. Just gotta watch my health so I don't fucking implode violently, but now I've got actually pretty good damage resistance too, so. Yes, money. Iridescent wings? Fenix backpack? Oh! Okay, hmm. Exactly. Machine gun, unicorn Gundam head, the fucking thing from Double Zero that Graham Aker decides that he's a fucking samurai. Graham Aker does an apocalypse now, the mech. Uh, hmm. Unicorn Gundam HFX arms. Interesting. Barbados parts. Uh, just a backpack that's actually kind of nice. Fennec. Hmm. A Fennec backpack. Interesting. Ah, ooh. <laughs> hey! That's- I- I want that. Cool. Cool. Now, now it's time to be fucking crossbow gun them. Wait a minute. Did I press X or circle there? I might have fucked up. Ah, there it is. Ah, yes, good. <laughs> good. Good. Bipod? Eh? That does give me more, slightly more resistance, but oh well. Increase the meme. Yeah, no, I'm just horrifying now. I've, I, I've become like... I've become like a disposable enemy in like a sewer level that tries to fucking shank the player. I quite like the bazookas though, so I'm going to keep those. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we really have any legs that are actually worth actually. Yes, good. good no. <laughs> yes, in a part of my mind, but no, not right now. No. <laughs> I'll just stick with what we have for this one, but I suppose I can upgrade them. Well, does anyone have a... Hmm, anyone have any... Oh! Well, hey! I'm gonna steal those. Yes, Gundam one day. Yes. Thank you. I will take all of those, thank you. Does anybody else have anything... Leg parts land? What does that do? Some mobility, I suppose? Oh, movement speed. Okay. I mean, why not? I mean, I could just take it. I mean, it's level four, so that would... Hmm. I already have Gundam Frame. What does that do? Are they going to show me? I think I already have... Radiator fins, invisible, invisible titanium. I 
already have, uh, let's see, physical resistance. Huh. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to watch the Gunpla anime now. I mean, it, Build Fighters and Build Fighters Try are really good shows, so yes. Or just Gundam in general. Yes, I would sign off on this. Right, you can't have dupes, right. I figured, I was trying to figure out exactly what... I don't know what Gundam Frame does. What does Gundam Frame do? I can only have one. So, um... Huh. Oh. Actually, that actually holds shit back. Okay, fine. Okay! You have an ability which does the same thing, so the Gundam Frame is useful. Okay, that's what it means when it's grayed out. Okay. Okay, so. Fantastic. Okay, so that's all the stuff for the upgrades, and now we just merge all the other parts together, because fuck it. But yes, Kicks, I will sign off on watching any Gundam, sir. Uh, go right ahead. Just not see. Dear God, stay away from see. And also, be a bit different than some of your peers and don't watch Double Zero and think that's the center of the universe. Hmm. Okay, there's that, but, um... What, what can we do with the shield? Is there anything we can do with the shield? Did we get any new options? Handgun! What? <gasps> what? What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Did that come- that came with the cloak, didn't it? Hmm. Or, what's the hands? What? Oh, it's the arm bit. Right, okay. No, it's the thing that's ma it's the triple barreled thing on the arm. Right, I get it. I get you. The hand that's also there, so. I also need more the bazooka also needs more power. I need more power. <laughs> Might as well put the Vulcan suit. That requires multiple things, but right. Also, while we're here. Yes. Glowing red eyes, because Titans. So, what's this... Oh, that's that bit. But that's... Why is that white, though? That's not the right color. No, hmm. Hmm. That's strange. Do they have that save? Probably not. Eh, whatever. Leave it as it is. Thank you for the dollar kicks, but um, yes, I'm I'm glad I give this kind of uh, you know give this kind of a feeling off because this is yeah this is my happy place. I would like other people to also enjoy my happy place. Pose your abomination. No, no posing, only fight. But actually, uh, let's hang on. Let me see if we got anything out of uh, any, out of our rank ups because we ranked up a lot. Yes, I'm complaining an utterly atrocious abomination fit for the Titans. I will never see it if I keep going down there, though. Dead three, Kim, Kim, so actually, no, we didn't unlock any new kids. Wow. Fuck. I 
guess it's just progression unlocking all the other parts. Fuck. Let's see if we can fight fucking Sahal Anthropus. That may have reshuffled, though, so I might have been fucked out of that one. It may have been one opportunity to... Uh, the opportunity may have passed. Gets unlocked mostly from the storyline. Oh. Well, good. I'm just going to be roided and overpowered for the storyline to immediately crush all, all that oppose me. Because seriously, because that, honestly, that's the that's the right thing to do. Do you think that the hero wouldn't go back in time to make the the job that much easier after, yo, know, doing everything? I haven't completed this timeline yet, but I could probably see where this is going. Ha! Huh. Nibbobot. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so let's see if we have anything based on... Hmm. Refreshing, right. Uh, let's see here. Astrid Goon. Dark Cavalry. We fought him before, so you can get the... You can get old ones. Excalibur, Exia. Ha! Huh. Okay. Let's see, Unicorn... Sephiroth, there's that one with no name. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh, Asteroid Desk, shit. I saw the Asteroid Desk Scythe, I should've grabbed that one. Mick Foley Mark II. <laughs> okay. Okay, sir. Okay, right, now. No. no. Where is that man? Okay, right, Excalibur, right, Sahelanthropus, there it is! Metal Gear! And then there's this nerd! Metal Gear and this nerd! But McFoley had the nuclear bazooka, shit, I didn't notice that. Night of Toothpaste. What? <laughs> Get out of here, Axis! Morons! Okay, let's fight, um... Let's fight Sal Antropus. Hey kids, welcome to Narrative Balance. I just hope the Narrative Balance is me, is me stopping, yo, know, isn't me, yo, know, failing to win. That would be bad. Where is he? Oh my god! <laughs> what is that?! Whatever it is, I'm fucking killing it! Goddamn Christ. Okay, that's got a death laser. Noted. You're going to die now. No, not you. The thing that's almost fucking dead. Stay in the fucking corner. NERDS!
turned into an utterly s fucking, yo, know, stun locking bazooka nightmare. This definitely deserves to to use the Titans colors. This is definitely an awful machine. Good, good, fantastic. I beat Sahalanthropus. Good, I killed something way above my weight class. What did I get for parts? Beam saber. Beam javelin. Okay. Beam smart gun. Ah, yes! The th uh, <laughs> it's even got the radar dish. Zeta plus. Okay. A sumo head. Buster Gundam arms. Sword impulse Gundam. Hmm. Low quality plastic. Excellent work, that's why you are the boss. Thank you, sir. I've creating a, created a stun-locking nightmare. Hooray for me. Hmm, but what about... Let's see about... Let's see about that smart gun. The giant bazooka is level 7, though. That's kind of... That's kind of inarguable, but... Hmm, we'll see about this. Although that does fuck up all of my builds, so I don't think that's going to work. Keep that around, though. Unicorn Gundam. Do I have any slots left on this? I don't think I do. Hmm. I do have one ability slot left. Extend Awakening. Duplicate effect. Response speed. Hmm. Goof custom. Oh. Hmm. Yes, all of these parts, please. Thank you. else I can rip off of here, aside from the magnetic coating, which I'm pretty sure I already have. Yeah, no, it doesn't do anything. Move one of those, they both do the same thing. Oh, no. Okay, actually, no, they both do the same thing. Okay. Whatchamacallit, they... The legs and the head both have those parts, so that's actually worthless. Oh, well. The legs and the head parts do the same thing as that, so both of those abilities are actually redundant. Sorry, mashing buttons aimlessly. Hmm. Right, I need more. I need more emphasis for my cool arm. It's time for arm day. Unfortunately, I think the backpack has... Actually, no! You can have more! Hmm. Hmm! Duplicating effect, huh?
Okay, so it would be the beam resistant coating. That's the only one we actually that doesn't act. Okay, that's the duplicate, it's alright, so okay. I'm assuming that gives us more? Yes, 10% beam resistance, cool. So the GN drive, what does that do though? What does that do, though? I'm kind of afraid. I'm just gonna mash it in there, but... Ah, oh, right. That. It's weird how you can't make that actually show up, but yes, okay. So, I'm assuming that'll increase... That will increase exam. Increase the length of a thing you'll unlock later. Right, so that's the transam. Ha! Ah. But, um... I kind of want that to be the exams. Yeah, right now it's trans type, so it'll probably actually increase the exam system. So yeah, it's basically the same thing. I've taken all that I need from these piles of damage. smart guy. Because I want to see what that can do later, because we kind of do need a beam gun at some point, but yeah. I'm just taking my one weapon and running to the... absolutely just running all the way as far as I can go with it. But what I want to do, I want to do is... Um, People mentioned that uh, Mick Foley had uh, had the nuclear bazooka. I need that. We need to find Mr. Foley. We're gonna challenge him to a wrestling match. words with okay epion okay uh the blue destiny how blue destiny though hey i want all of those parts i think they ner nerfed a nuke launcher though as a heads up boss i think this mech is a walking war crime it's obviously a villain mech kamina ah! Ah! look at this guy violent Bi Hey! Well, um, I actually like the Bilerant, thank you. The Bilerant is kind of just, I want the Bilerant's arms, yes. That's how we can improve upon the Kapool arms. Bilerant arms! Yes, thank you, and also Blue Destiny, because yes. We can unlock, uh, lock the kid if we beat up them in lab. Yes, good, good. Yes, I want, I want the Bilerant arms. I want those. Those are uh, basically what I made is the Bilerant. <laughs> uh, what I meant is a slightly more, um, a, sli a slightly different looking thing. It's kind of the same idea as the fucking Bilerant. And there's a double zero soundtrack again. It's just this evil thing with giant fucking arms that absolutely wrecks anyone who isn't a main character and damn near kills main characters. One time Jared actually got close. Yes, I want that, thank you. Ah, 
Wow, fuck, Jer- What? <laughs> Wow, we just absolutely fucked Jared. Jesus goddamn Christ, Jared. He fell over like a fucking sack of good. G <laughs> my memes are. Uh, we wrecked him so hard, my memes are failing to catch up. Good god. Sorry, Jared. Jesus. Now, point blank range! <laughs> Horrifying. Uncommon. Hmm. Okay, so now we need to pump all of the extra stuff into the arms there because those are just really fucking cool. I'm sorry, Kapool Arms, you've been obsoleted. It's been fun, though. First higher rarity part, yes! The Beam Saber. Ooh. Ah, yes, good. Maybe I can- wait a minute, maybe I can take the exam system and- Ah, yes! What if I take the brain and put it in the Bylorant? Or... Byarland. I just say Bylorant because it sounds cooler to me. But yes, what if I take the exam brains and jam it inside the Bylorant? Before I do that, though, a freedom gun. Get out of here! Look, if I ever want to have a really dumb power fantasy and be an idealist and shoot the guns off of literally everyone in the room, instead of being a smart person and accepting that war is terrible, I'll give you a fucking call, Seed. I'll give you a fucking call. But then, until then, get the fuck out of here. Hey guys, let's let's remake the original Mobile Suit Gundam for a younger audience, yes, but then completely miss the fucking point of the yes, original Mobile Suit Gundam, where war is awful and bad things happen, and you actually have to just kind of accept it and move on. No, man, let's just make him a super pacifist, just because. Great. Did we get? No. We do not have Blue Destiny Unit 3, which means we're going to kill that man repeatedly until we get Right, we're gonna kill that man for his, for his Blue Destiny parts until we actually get all the Blue Destiny parts. But Winter Fresh Beams, though. Nah! Okay, we got a level 4 Beam Saber, which is interesting, but no. Arms. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to say goodbye to the Kapool Arms, which is gonna be a goddamn shame, but yes. Bylorant Arms, which aren't really as... Well, they're, in, they're cool in a new way. We're gonna have to get something that actually really fits on this arm in terms of a weapon, though. So we're just gonna leave that as is and on upgrade. It's gonna be kind of a sore spot, I suppose, but eh. Paint. Now we need to give it give it back its proper paint. Yellow? What else we got here? Command Crimson, Blast Orange, Sonic Orange, Soldier Green, Massive Purple, Justice Red, get out. <laughs> Trial Gray. Ah, yes. Actually, G3 coding. But no, fuck you. Hmm. Kind of want to just make that not that color, but oh well. I guess I'll roll with it. Maybe not. That's the wrong thing, though. That's not that, though. We're, that's a really random fucking place for that. They're not even really the same... What the fuck? That's a weird as color assignment. But I guess I can go... Hmm. Right, go to the individual parts. Weird. I guess I'm just gonna have to eyeball the color- uh, or not? Whoops. Wrong button. But oh well, fuck it, whatever. I'll roll with it. A lot of fiddling. But okay, good. <laughs> That's weird in kind of a new way.
Okay, so... Now we need to beat the shit out of that guy in the Blue Destiny unit until we get all those parts. Check the option ones weapons? No, I didn't. Huh. I'm auto boosting now, thanks to the arms. <laughs> Fuckers. So now I just kind of slide around. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. I like this death machine. This suits me. Holy oh, shit. Here I come, says the man with no fucking arms. He still has no arms. He still hasn't recalled his arms! <laughs> Fool. Oh. There we go. Alright, good. I like this. I like this a lot. And more Blue Destiny parts, good. All right, good. The Byler and Arms are a good addition, I believe. Yes, good money. Huh. Melee Claw. Interesting. Because I do have claws now. Let's see how that works. Yeah, it's Blue Destiny Rifle, Blue Destiny Arms, Byler Custom Arms again. Unit 3 backpack, but that's not... I'm, I'm getting the related parts, but not the Blue Destiny Unit 2 or 1. Big meaty claws, yes. Big meaty claws for my antagonist mobile suit. Okay, so... Hmm. Beam Saber, Bylor, and... Oh! Ooh! I think their arms either have beam sabers built in or more beam. Well, there's your beams. Fortunately, we lose some melee DPS out of that, but hmm. Hmm. The claws would be more fitting. Actually, no, wait a minute. Those are action weapons. I could just equip those. Oh. <laughs> um. Ra ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> um, Mega Particle Cannon with adjusted output convergence rates to make it suitable for rapid fire. A beam blade emitted from from barrel allows it to be used as a saber. Hole for Mega Particle Cannon. Okay, so we just get both now. Sure. Uh, I will take this and then proceed to merge that with the level four beam saber, or both beam sabers really. I don't need either of those. Actually, no, we need that. So we're going to take that. Take that rare part and just kind of move that over. No, there are eight option slots. Oh. Ha! Hmm. You messed up, Goot. Yeah, I didn't take the other bit, but oh well. Oh well. I'm fighting the same guys again. I'll get the part again. You should have pair merged the beam sa saber. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Wrong button. I should have, but that was a random luck drop anyway. So, well. Oh, well. 
Could have made the claws on con Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh. That's something I should have done. I didn't know you could increase rarity like that. I thought you just made the stats better. But, ah. Right. Noted for the future. Okay, so let's see what the internal weapons for the Bilerant arms are like. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, that's really nice. Jesus Christ. And I could also use it as a fucking sword, too. Wait, I can use it as a sword when it's out of ammo? Holy shit! <laughs> okay, probably should also use that, though. <laughs> Sir, I'm one man. Yes! I think we got something that works here on multiple levels here. The 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 integral beam cannons actually are guns, and when, when they're out of ammo, we can continue mashing the button to be a melee attack. Neat. Grapple claw? What? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Do I want to grab the GM and tear it apart? Yes, actually. Why? Thank you for asking. Hmm. Melee Claw, that's nice. It's already standard level 2, which is nice. Uh, but, um... Hmm. I don't want to pair it with that, because that's going to go out the window. Merge, we'll just have a package merge, and then use the other claws. Get that level up. Just a little higher. want to do is go over here. Game rifle, don't need that. Mylord Custom Heads, which are actually a level 4 Mylord Custom. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's nice. So actually, we got one that was actually our level, which is pretty neat. Okay, then, uh, let's see here. Custom level 3 are. We keep getting the we keep getting the same shit that's actually a higher level, which is nice. Legs. And then there's right, the actions, which I think I'm just gonna have to get rid of armor repair because we've got the armor kits. I don't think I need them. And then what the fuck's the grapple claw? Because I don't want to get rid of exam either. 500 percent damage of melee DPS. 
I think we have enough to get the blue destiny now. We shall see. Because we're getting, uh... We're getting parts for all of the blue destiny units, the one, two, and the three. So we're not, we may not actually have the ones that we need. Also, this is bothering the shit out of me. It'd be nice if I could just match color. Actually, I could do this. for the leg weapon that I never fucking use. So, hmm, that's very strange. Hmm. Do they have it? Yes, they do have it. Good, that's much better. I can, I can deal with the orange on the internals. Not on the outside, that looks goofy. weathering to this. Hmm. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. Oh, right, the glow, right. I almost forgot about that. Always red, always edgy. Even though that looks like I bathed in the blood of my enemies and it is oxidized on my hull. Ah, yes, good. A little bit of smog in those out, yo, know, those, um, those air uh, outtakes, or rather the engine outputs. A bit of smog in those nozzles, they've been used. I've been on many, many a sortie to um, take triple Gatorade gas to places. Don't ask where, I'll have to kill you. All right, that's looking good. Hmm. Right, that looks better. Good, right? Out of hangar. Good. That's respectable looking now. And by respectable, I mean terrifying. Well, let's go see if we actually have those Blue Destiny kits now. Because Lord knows we got enough fucking parts! Jessa, Jim Kemper, Jim Selton. No! Does it appear further down the list? Nothing? Wow, okay. Huh. That is very strange. Not yet, alright. Guess I gotta beat the shit out of them more. I mean, it's only really helping me get uh, more things. mean to do that! Fucking fuckers. Good thing all of that saved. Must be because it's different Blue Destinies. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Because it's unit... I'm getting parts for unit 1, 2, and 3. So I'm guessing I don't have enough... I've, I've got a lot of those parts, but not enough parts from any particular one to get their kit.
looks like something that's been stuck out in the field without a refit for quite some time now. Uh, yeah. Like most Titans post, uh, Zeta Gundam. So, uh, ha <laughs> ha Ooh. Okay, so hang on here. Let's try this. And then I completely miss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Too many things to manage. It's raining Byleran parts! Good lord, I could just sit there spamming that. Ha! That was not nearly close enough, though. I knew you were the weaker opponent. Any day now, fucker. Just gonna sit up there. Ah, yes, good. Even more edgier lighting. Okay, Claw Melee, yes. Blue Destiny, yes, yes, yes. Byler and Custom. Good. More arms. Okay, Blue Destiny, that's new. Blue Destiny 3 shields. So, yeah, we're just kind of shaking all of the Blue Destiny parts out of this guy. One more time before we move on to the story, because I think um, we need a we need a surplus of parts here. But I feel like uh, I feel like our unit is already horrifyingly powerful. So I feel like we're going to walk into the story missions now and absolutely trounce fucking everything, which is good. Good. Punch that punch Mr. McPunchable's face here and then look good in front of the girl.
You are already dead. Okay, so the triangle only really works when you're in the combo. It, it's kind of an awkward dash if you're not actually in the combo. Like, already in melee range, which is incredibly awkward. No, I got more! <laughs> Fucker. Yeah, this thing is to my liking. I want to put more power into this. Give me the bodies and wreckage of more mobile suits so I can make it more powerful. Thank you. Storm Pile Driver. What? Usable when equipped with melee claw. 650% damage to melee DPS. That's higher than the, the slashes. Slamming the ground with a high speed rotation. This throwing technique deals large damage. Impossible to guard with she. Oh. <laughs> When used in midair or against giant enemies, it becomes a tearing attack in the form of a sli- Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Blue Destiny Unit 1 head, I think that's new. Because I think we had the other ones. Okay. Uh, custom arms. Blue Destiny Unit 1 legs, yes, good. Or Freedom Gundam background, but it's fucking stupid. Freedom fucking Gundam. What are you doing? I want to see what that is. Mm. Right. I wish to see what this weapon is, because this might be f interesting. Okay, so it's going to be an action. And grapple claw. What about Storm Pile Driver? Let's see about that. Okay, so let's actually go see, because we got the legs. Did we unlock the suit now? Did we get it now? Nope. Nope! Moving on! Once more here to see what this is, and then you can see exactly what we want to do with it. Because now we just need to level up the parts that we get. I think we've got a, a system that works here, and the system that works is Bazooka Spam, and then leaning on the Bylorin's abilities. That's splash damage. Oh, what? the beam saber has actually the beam mode for the fucking the arm cannons is actually infinite ammo. So the meter is specifically just for the ranged attack. All right. So what does this do? Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! I pretty much just yeah, actually pile drive it. Die! 
Alright, good, good, good. So yeah, basically now what I have is a special move that just grabs the fucking enemy and then the fucking body slams his ass. Good. Feels like a bit like a glass cannon to me. Definitely deadly as hell, but feels like a, it feels a bit squishy to me. I need to get more parts that actually mean I actually get any armor. That's the thing. I actually have about as much health as I've ever had. I don't have enough points to actually... I don't, I don't have enough parts to get the durability or the, uh, the parts aren't high enough level. So basically all I need to do now is level all the parts that I have. Gundam Zangief. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> But so, unfortunately, yeah, no, that's kind of the wall there, but, um, I like this machine. Let's go to the missions and then proceed to obliterate things. A Gunpla Battle Tournament has commenced. You participate, you can participate in the tournament by qualifying missions, accumulating ace points in order to qualify. To progress to the next stage of the tournament, your total high score from all qualifying missions must be, must meet a given quota. In qualifying missions, special rules are applied. Uh, special rules applied are different from regular missions. Don't you dare limit my ability to do things. Number teams must battle for survival. Defeat the CPU controlled enemies and enemy player teams. You will clear the mission upon defeating all enemy teams. Okay. Right. So the uh, the plucky little girl that uh, you know is the the is the daughter of the owners of that mom and pop gunpla um, shop uh, walked into a, a dark alley one day and then found a Byleran pilot. <laughs> I'm liking this visual novel. I really am. This girl needed someone someone to help her, so she called up the winning team, the Titans. I'm barely listening. I'm only comprehending kill literally everything in the area. Good, got it. Base jabber. What is this motherfucker doing? parts over there. Hang on, honey. Disengaging. Or rather, I guess those were hit points? I saw green. I was concerned. I thought I saw shinies.
Okay, so who are these Chuckle Fox? Okay, a Rising Gundam and a Wing Gundam. All right. Excuse me. Damn it, I wanted my box. I got my box. Oh, I missed. I whiff the damn fucking gri grapple move. Okay, good. All right, then. Interesting. <laughs> Two for one. A Jaeger. That's definitely a diversion from the norm. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey! I'm not playing that game right now! Oh. That son of a bitch pushed me back. They're sending a lot at me. Good thing I fucking overleveled for this. This might have been a fucking problem. Also, I forgot I have exam. I haven't turned exam on. We could go even more meme with this. I'm saving it for the bosses. So these are free health ones. Good. Hmm. Boost could use an increase, I think. I blew that guy's legs off. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do, but yeah, no, I basically made that guy immobile instantaneously. Sweetheart, get out of the way, I'll handle this. Not farming the first mission to have a Xeon. Not farming a Gabber Tetra. Kedusha, um, I have a Byloran, sir. I'm quite nice. I'm quite fine with this one. This is now my esoteric meme pick now. I have most of a Byloran. But now time to engage exam and absolutely rip shit. Oh. Hmm. All right, kids. No more fucking around. I'm 
Oh, that missed. It's raining GM parts! Or gym cannons. Gun tank then. What? I got gun tank and wow. Those are weapons. I'll accept that. I, I, I think he's dead, Goon. I had to make sure. You don't wanna you don't wanna know what happened the last time I didn't make sure a dude was dead. <laughs> ah yes! That's a Gundam Alex and Choban armor. Yeet. Never mind me, just absolutely obliterating everyone in the room from the word go. Ah, I lost an arm. Okay, fine, you can die on that. Alright, where do we go now? That way? Misfired again, unfortunately. here. Rocket launcher. That's probably the ground gun that was one. If I have any, like, if I have any in, uh, sort of, uh, perception on what my Gundam meme parts are. Stay down. Oh, right, that's the tornado thing done in air. Okay, that's what that is. The X break. <laughs> yeah, you go, girl. Just fucking shoot that guy in the gutter. Thanks. Huh. GM sniper team, huh? Unfortunately, they were both waifus, and even more unfortunately, they were so incompetent, they died horribly. <laughs> Absolutely disemboweled. Turn to the hangar. There we go. Yeah, I think we won, kid. What do you think? <laughs> I think we can call that a good day's work there. Super mode. Shining finger. Shining finger. So Wait a minute. I mean, neat, but cool. Wait, a bilerant with shining finger. I mean, I suppose now you need the arms. Oh well. 
You could do super mode, but then again, that's another fucking Trans Am thing. Hmm. That's a lot of junk parts. Woo. Well, actually, no, these aren't rarity too. They're just green. Melee hand, claw, melee. Good, 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 good. Shining Finger is busted. I, I'd, I'd assume, because it's fucking Shining Finger. Active Reactor? Hmm. What's that? Permanent upgrades to my mobile suit? Hmm. All right, hang on, folks. I've got to go to the bathroom again. Be right back. Alright, I have returned. And Cuba fixes... Uh, you can have dupes without worry. Hmm. Hmm. I'm guessing we could add modifiers or stack modifiers on top of modifiers or maybe they just sit there forever and we don't really need to actually uh, care about them. You would have as many as you want. Probably. I hope. Did we get any new suits from that nonsense? I, uh, yes, a Shining Gundam. Yes. Got the Shining Gundam, Gelgu J, right, and Zaku FZ, making hamburgers. <laughs> Buy a couple of those. Actually, hmm. See if I get anything interesting out of the Shining Gundam, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe I'll get some melee stuff out of that that I don't have. But I'm pretty sure everything's going... Pretty okay with my suit currently. Machine gun head. No, no new weapons. I'll take the parts though. If parts in a kit are blue, you already own them. Well, I just bought it for the sake of having it then, I guess. But we need to amp more power. We need more power. Melee claws are nice. I will keep them. Okay, so let's see here. What about, uh, what about weapons here? What about rocket launcher? Is that what I think it is? Okay. No, but it's... Oh, it's the... Oh, it's the Rakuten bazooka, more or less. But, hmm, that's funny. I can't really... I don't really have something to... Hmm. I don't really have anything to compare it to. But fuck it, I'll just keep going more power until I reach the end of the power curve here. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh. Hmm. 
You can hand stuff you already own. I know that, but I'm just trying to see if I can actually parse whether or not it's actually better, but... Like, better as a base stat, but no. Okay, fine, fuck it. Unlimited power. Did I have anything I... Nope, don't really have anything I need. So fuck it. Oh, I didn't merge anything. I'm an idiot. Well, I mean, I, I mean one thing. I'm an idiot. They want to farm GPO2 sub if I can find the damn thing. So let's see here. Check, check. Actually, no, we need to keep those because I need to get the fucking blue destiny parts. Yeah, we're gonna keep the. Yeah, we'll use these. And then the rocket launcher. We already locked the kit, so it's there. As for weapons, uh, we don't need any of these weapons, so we can just, uh, well, unless they do us something particularly new, no. Okay, so, check, 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 check. Stronger claws in there. Are there stronger claws? Nope, they're hands. But actually, no, these are level three, so we should probably start with those. So these are actually better. So we'll amp those because they they're they're already better. I'm feeling as nice as the bazooka is, we may need to act just amp the claws just for the sake of, like, getting that. Active reactor. Hmm. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm not going to use that just yet. Holy shit, 316. Yes, good. More melee DPS. Because as we as we keep seeing, we, we kind of use melee all of the fucking time. So actually having that really fucking strong is good. Cubes are part specific. Oh, okay. The beam sabers, though, we could actually expand to upgrade those because those are melee and range DPS. Actually, yeah, no, it's mega particle. So yeah, you could just upgrade both. They're uh, they're a two in one weapon. So upgrading, uh, so you can upgrade the mega particle cannon damage or the beam cannon or the beam saber damage. But I think we use it as a range weapon more often. So probably the the particle cannon. chest. Hmm. Let's give me more armor. Give the Byloran funnels. I will, because I, I, I too want free damage. Hi, God legs. <laughs> oh my god. No, thank you. No, no. I, I said we were going to make Curse Gunplow, but not that Curse. Good lord. Also, we need to upgrade the backpack in order to upgrade the weapons. Actually, well, upgrading the weapon is just kind of... We, we use... Hmm. I can't see the... The special is... Oh, it's up here. Yeah, no, we'd have to upgrade the backpack. Right, okay. Hmm. Be sure to keep the blue destiny bits. Yes, Okay, freedom gun. No. Oh wait, no. I didn't want to do that. Stop inviting me to play that game, damn it! I I pressed the wrong thing. Merge. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nope. 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 No, I already bought that, so I can get it whenever I want. Nope. Nope. Uh, go. Got a Malix is pretty nice though, but nope. 
Yep. Yep. Hmm. Although, what I should see... Not plastic mm -hmm. merch. It's pair of merch. Can I get anything out of here that would actually be useful? Because Minoski's flight doesn't do anything. I'm assuming the orange are duplicates, so there are actually no, no new things that I can use. Oh well. Spam you with invites as long as I can. God damn it. You only need to hold on to one part. No, I need to hold on to a lot. The hands. Okay, that's boost. That is nice, because it does have boosters on the arms. But uh hmm. Well. Since I have enough Blue Destiny units, I suppose I can actually switch over to actually using a Byloran custom head. Because I can just kind of... put the exam system in it. Or rather, no, the I can't. Right, because it's specific to the part. Shit. Need to master- you need to master the exam system. Yeah. Right, so we'll just keep doing that. It's a skill, not an ability. Right. The problem is it takes fucking forever to do that. Once you can master it, you can use it with anything. Good, good. It takes a while to master super modes like that. Well, eh, well, better get started early, I guess. But I suppose what I could do is actually just increase the overall toughness of the whole system. Hmm. Okay. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I will keep one of these. That's one. Nope. Z, Gundam J, 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 Gundam, Gun Cannon, FZ. And Shining Gundam FZ, right. Keep those on hand, and then when we get the actual kits, we can just kind of leave them alone. As for our hit points, yeah, these could use some adjustments. Actually, yeah, the Victory Gundam, I could get rid of this, because I have apparently duplicate things. We could simply increase... Well, actually, we lose some response time on that one, but... Eh. Aside from that, we don't really lose anything, and the, the Zaku FZ chest is actually about the same level, or rather, uh, you know, it is a higher level. So we don't really lose anything specific that we didn't actually have with the Victory Gundam, because those were already duplicate parts. So, well. Is there anything we can steal from the other part? Nope. Okay. that, get that repainted. Yes, yeah, good. However, now it looks off because it's not weathered like the rest of it. So 
just refresh this so everything's at the same level it was before. Less tripping. Hmm. Less brown. Right, that'll look. I think that's good, but really what we need... You know what we should do? You know what we should do? We should try that challenge mode to see if it's actually, uh... Or the, yeah, the challenger mode. To see if that's actually, like... Because if we could get just piles and piles and piles of shit parts, we could make this go somewhere. So what is this? Is this a wave defense mode? In which case, yes, because I could just sit here getting shit tons of parts. Because right now we need garbage parts. Like, think of it as like Girls Frontline. We need we need to farm, like, a yeah, World 1-1 one, one to have junk pistol parts for uh, enhancement. Yeah. Feet, upcoming enemy. Sure. Oh god, they're guys. Oh. They're not dropping parts, though, unfortunately. I'm seeing this. This is purely just a beat the shit out of the guys mode. Which I will do just for the sake of it. Avoid the dent. Oh, God! Oh, God! That's not what I want to do. It seems I have got the AI to goof. Okay, so those instant kill you. Okay, don't fuck around with those. Okay, so do not let Giant Gundam grab you or you are fucking McDead. Noted. Didn't know that. God damn it. Targeting is getting kind of weird in this mess. Those are GPO-2s. Unfortunately, they will probably nuclear, nuclear bazooka me into, into just absolute death. Yeah, like that. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Uh. <laughs> That's a lot! Okay, that's just a pure survival stage, Jesus Christ. Oh god, bugs. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Ow, 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 ow! Ow, 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 ow! Fucking goddammit! Ow! 
Yeah! Hey, I actually watched F91! Cut me some fucking slack! Ow, 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 ow! Motherfucker, stop! Give me a second, Jesus! Ow! Fucking God! Jesus! Oh God, they're all gonna shut me down. Ah! <laughs> okay, this is just a meme. Sh uh, yeah, yeah. No, this is a shit post mode. Yeah, this is just this is just shit posting mode. Ah! God damn it! Wow. Okay. So what happens if I die, guys? I failed to kind of survive the danger there. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, that's goofy and I don't get any parts from it, so fuck it. Yeah, but that's the thing, I survived, question mark. I keep respawning if I die, so what hell- what the hell actually is survival there? That was fucking stupid, though, never doing that again. Okay. On to the next qualifying mission. So, back to the story. These fuckers have shields. Oh, God damn it. Shit. Give me my box. I really feel like I need this Mega Particle Cannon to do more damage, so really, honestly, I feel like I should probably upgrade that more. I want that to do more damage. It's nice, and it has a shitload of ammo. Oh, hey, look. A green part. I can upgrade my clothes to be green now. Also, I just did a random combo. That... Hmm. I did not... I didn't actually trigger that. That's strange. And then immediately wreck the end. <laughs> Just casually stand there and pump the man full of bazooka shells. Excuse me. Fuck out of here with that fencing bullshit.
Who's the next challenger? They're Zaku's. Okay, Zaku with a gym head. What's going on here, boys? Uh, we'll see about that. No, I'm doing damage, though. <laughs> Chain mines. Okay, good. More green parts. I like green parts. What you get for trying to melee interrupt me, you fuck stupid fucks. Also hardly taking any damage from these guys, which is kind of shocking. Oh, Garmazabi custom. Hmm. Give me my box. Be gone, plebeian. Oh, what? I hit the wall. Oh no. Okay, special edition Kempfers here. And I immediately caught them both in a fucking... <laughs> I immediately caught them both in the fucking cluster strike. Bodes well for their, the, yo, know, their survival, right? Well, that's one.
Blue Destinies? What's going on here? Oh, gonna mark twos. All right. We seem to be perfectly uh, over-leveled for this content, so good. Exactly what I want to see. Round Shaker. Hmm. Monument can gain from a downward kick dropping from the sky, creating a shockwave on the ground, sending surrounding enemies flying. Huh. Ah, but now we have a green weapon. Good. Also green chest pieces. So good. Ramazabi's custom, huh? We'll see how that stacks up with stats, but... Hmm. Piles and piles and piles of stuff. Wow, it only took one overleveled murdering nightmare to get past the, the, <laughs> the qualified rounds. <laughs> <笑>自分が捨てたチームの活躍を見た気分は俺はプロのガンプロファイターを目指してるんだより良い環境を選ぶのは当然だろう商店街のどの馬るなアセンブルシステムで上が目指せるかよまたそれお金とか技術力がな
Almost there. Okay, so leave that alone. The chess piece, though. Yorshin's resistance without parts. Attack, hit, repair, fo what? Trash actually repairs its, I'm sorry, what? Vampirism? I am sorry, what? I'm gonna take that now, thank you. And hey, look, well, it's AU, but it's being painted Titans real fucking quick. <laughs> Joke's on you, we stole it back. Okay, so, hmm. Gotta merge, then do package merge, because we got lots of hands. We have a shitload of hands. Save the blue destiny with units. for the increased armor. Legs. Well, Gel J legs look good, but yeah, I like the double X legs even though we're not really using anything from them. Maybe one day I'll get Bile, actually ha I'll actually have Bilerit legs. Maybe one of these days. We got three. We, we've got four of the fucking things. Let's get it over the wall. Ah, oh, yes, the cape. Yeah, none of these really have anything. One damn good effective cape. The actions are just the actions. Weapons, we kind of... Well, we have some expendable ones. However, they are so absolutely fucking minuscule that giants. Hmm. Shit. But it's so far down that I don't think we're going to be able to really make any use of it. I think we're just... I I, I think we're just uh, stuck with this. This Dryson bomb rocket launcher, just for the sake of... We've already have it. We already have it leveled. Yes, good, good. Good, good. Now it's even more fucking Titans. But yes, story mode. Let's go wreck a fucker. Giant killing, Town Cup finals. Hmm, okay. That'll run. Hmm. Ah, okay. Trying to, uh, I saw I saw the metal and I thought there was something there, but I, it tells you which hmm, it tells you which suits you're fighting, which is good. But okay, two teams battle it out against each other. Clear the mission by defeating all enemy players. Right? It's a showdown. Go and put me in, chief. No.
GM is no, you're drunk. Go <laughs> go home, can you shit? Alright, bring it on, fuckers! Oh, look at this foofy asshole with his fucking psycho frame and his fucking quantizing particles and Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here, you nerd! Well, he just threw me, so thank you. Well, if you enjoy standing there so goddamn much. Well, I didn't fire it, right? You interrupted the attack. Well, he just throw me. Oh well. Oh, you've seen you you've been, you counted your first perfect grade. Well, as I figured, he's just really huge. Oh no, I got him down to 75% health. What if you have more money though? Oh no, you took out the wife. Ah, yes. <laughs> Kid, you have no idea who you're fucking with. I was in the Titans! We did bad, indescribable, inhumane, unforgivable things! You're just a fucking chump! Beats money and technology, more money and technology, and also being an awful person. I.e., so awful that I leveled up over the requirements for this mission just to, to absolutely skull fuck you. <laughs> Playing fair? Nah, 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 nah. You come prepared. You come prepared to kill everyone in the fucking room. Burst Resurrect. Restores durability of your own and allies' machine, reboots allies that are unable to move. Leaves an energy within machine, fully restoring your machine as well as an allies. Okay. Burst breaker. Release all energy within the machine, creating a giant saber for striking. Okay. You can now burst. I now have special moves. Woo! Infinite justice cup. Get out of here! And put get out! Strike get out! Banshee. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well. Whatchamacallit? Uh, what is it? Uh, Sentinel. Neat. Dual gun. That, those are tiny legs. Fonto, sometimes you just gotta go seal clubbing. Yes, sometimes you just gotta go seal clubbing for resources, and then proceed to use all of those amassed resources against the boss. Sometimes you have to prey on the weak until you are strong. Strong enough to defeat other strong people. Become the strongest. Sawagunami 
because I stole it. 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 Because I stole there are several reasons why he lost. でも Assemble <laughs> yes, exactly. Drink. Pass it. Yes, pass the alcohol. Yes, thank you. I did a lot of fucking work grinding. うちは一日くらい休んでも問題ないから。商店街で唯一の繁盛店だからね。うちの店も宮古のところに商品を下ろせてなかったら、たっけに潰れてるな。宮ちゃん、うちの商品も扱ってくれないかな。ガンプラって
Depending on how much salt you have in your veins, they may be planning to sell it's use you as a battery. Ha 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 ha. I just wanted to pick on children in peace here, Jesus Christ. As engineers have been added to the team, builders' parts can now be used. Weapons and ornamental equipment can be added to each part of a gun plot. You can set additional weapons that you have equipped as optional option equipment. Two of the same weapon can be set as a single option equipment for simultaneous use. Builder parts, which are not weapons, will improve machine performance. Ah, yes, cosmetic but uh, actually cosmetic but actually statistical upgrades. Awakening and burst actions can now be used. Fill your awakening gauge by battling enemies and press L3 and R3 to activate awakening when it reaches max. While awakening is active, various aspects of your machine performance will increase. Pressing it again will execute burst actions. Burst actions are acquired by creating, obtaining specific parts and can be preset in the in the assemble menu. Hmm. Your, your awakening gauge will drop to zero when you redeploy after being immobilized. Oh well. Hmm. Okay. Did we unlock anything after doing that? I want to hope we did. For shining good into Shar Asnable's Gelgoog. Uh, while neat, they don't need it. Yes, I've, I've unlocked basically the Limit Break special move. I got this. But also, we did get a... What was it? I think it was a headpiece? Yes, right. Hmm. I want to keep the Bylerans, but hmm. I guess I'll just get more anyway. So, Paramerge, I'll keep the Blue Destiny head. But Infinite Justice. You're useless to me, so get out. Variable Shave. Hmm. Resistance. Okay, I don't... Hmm. I think these are duplicates? Ah. Well, I only have space for one. So, hang on, what does this do? Hmm. You missed the builder's parts. I'll get that. Okay, physical resistance, 20%. Actually, that's quite nice. Okay, that's what that does. Okay. Yeah, no, physical resistance. We'll take that. can now mount mean weapons like funnel racks. Good. I was just increasing rarity here. Okay, so builder's parts. Missile pod, beam can e, beam cannon, missile, 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 missile. Where are hmm. Okay, so we can add all of these, however, we do not have funnels. Which is kind of unfortunate. You got space for both because it's a green. Oh. Well, shit, I didn't note that. But oh well. The hand grenades. Backpack both sides. Which is where? Ah, there. Hmm. Well, let's see here. In the store, there's more. Ah! Well, let's go to the store and buy some more, be uh, buy some more builder's parts. Hooray! Vulcan Sperm Files, Vulcan Pod. Cracker, blade, no. Uh, these are nice, but no. Pilot figure. Why would I. Huh. Hmm. No funnels. We're gonna have to fight something with funnels. That's rather unfortunate, but actually. Actually, that's actually quite easy. We'll just go for the bounties and see if we can get something that, you know, looks like it has funnels. All I have parts add stats. Good enough.
make math go up. Yes, math go up. Hmm. Hmm. We can't see builder's parts, which is kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Hmm. There's Blue Destiny again. Where is that man? Raskri, excuse me! Ra- excuse me! Shin Matsunaga Custom. The speedy speed boy. But uh, excuse me, sir, you wouldn't happen to be using... Oh, there is McFoley. There you go. I, I, yes, he's got the atomic bazooka. Right, so I... I'll fight you some other time. But actually what I need is I need this asshole. And I guess we'll fight Jehoti because Jehoti is... Well, rather weak. <laughs> All right, time to wreck some nerds. Let's see if we can salvage that fucking bazooka from Mr. Foley. Use that at the wrong time. Wow. Absolutely wrecked. I want to knock your fucking parts off. Yes, good. Dom arm. There it is! Broken arrow secured! <laughs> First try, too. How about that? Maybe my luck's actually going my way now. <laughs> Good. Now I just need to level the ever loving shit out of that. Okay, so let's have a look and see how that looks. Uh, yes. Atomic Bazooka. We're gonna give it a whirl before we start dumping parts into it, but we need more weapon parts now. Yes, absolutely salvation. Okay, so let's go to the hangar and just kind of fuck around with it a bit. Amazing. If this game would let you build plastic crack ish IRL a la car mechanic or tank this video. Assemble gunpla in a video game. How novel. That would actually be kind of neat, but really silly. I'd say train on the first mission with it. I mean, I suppose there's plenty of shit to shoot at. Or really any of the challenge missions, there's plenty of fucking targets. 
like any of the uh, any of the uh, the tournament missions. Okay, so back out of here. We'll go kill Razgris one of <laughs> one of these days. Okay, so hmm. encounter. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Hey, wait a second. Enca I didn't see that before. Encounters and it's in space. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. This mission was kind of long, but there was plenty of shit to shoot at. We need lots of just junk parts, though. So I suppose let's try this. See how many targets are actually in this mission. Well, unfortunately, voice to text is not on, but Tazarin, thank you, and yeah, no, Microsoft Anna could not say Earth Noids or Space Noids. She had to spell those out. But imagine. One planet to save a galaxy! Salvation! Can you see? You can't, can you? Can't you? I don't think you can see. Arm um, the ideals can't yes. Alright, let's see how this thing fucking works. But uh as Kadusha said, Solomon! I have returned! Oh fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! It's one shot, but yeah, you only need one! Yeah, that gets that uh, uh, that needs to be upgraded immediately. Super slow recharge, yes, but it also uh, it's a new. So while it's slow, if I save it for key moments, it could become quite useful, and we can kind of just get around the charge. And plus, if I need range weapons, oh no, my head. If, if I need range weapons, I have several. So I can just clear, kind of just replace the bazooka and just have the instant kill fucking button as my back pocket weapon. Like this. <laughs> and they're all dead. And they are all fucking dead. <laughs> Good. button. I fucked it all up. Oh no. Oh well. <laughs> oh hey, there's three guys over there. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, you don't get two atomic bazookas. Yes, because the bazookas are attached to the backpack. I just have nuclear weapons now. That, we'll just have to deal with that.
you know what the funny thing is? The, the nuclear bazooka stays actually invisible until I use it. So this is actually kind of nice. Now I'm not awkwardly holding a bazooka in my hands. It looks a little weird on the Bylorant arms. But now I don't have to fucking care because it's invisible until I need it. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, hi, guys! You all wanna just get together in this nice little ball here? Everybody wanna bunch up? Wanna bunch up? Good, thank you. SALVATION! Ha 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 Alright. I seem to have uh, made an accommodating monster for myself. They can't spawn fast enough. This is the tutorial level, but still. Also, I have the break part, but I'll leave that. I'll leave that until the boss spawns. And I am going to, of course, fire the nuclear weapon at the boss. Oh, a challenger. How funny. Oh, he spawned right behind me. All right, well, nothing personal, kid. I like to do the br- Huh. <laughs> I'm suplexing a torso! I absolutely fucking dismembered him. Good God. Okay, now how many parts did I get? I feel like I can get more. I feel like I can get more out of a different mission. Yeah, not really all that much. I mean, more Gapa Tetra parts, that's always nice, but eh, really not that much. So yeah, I think the other ones are probably better for this. We've already seen this, though. I don't need more plot, thank you. Okay, what we need to do, we need to go to... Well, basically this mission, or rather... Uh, well, actually, this mission was quicker, so you know what, we'll do this. There are a lot of fucking enemies here, but it was quicker. The other mission had also a lot of fucking encounters, so it took forever. That was a good test, as a test run. Yes, and uh, I like having it in my back pocket. Uh, I have the Mega Particle Cannon for the Bylorant Arms that effectively, effectively stands in for my secondary weapon. That was kind of a... Well, it was kind of redundant. It could, you know, it could use some, uh, some enhancement, but... It was kind of fucking redundant the way it is with, alongside a rapid-fire bazooka, but now that the bazooka is a one-shot that kills literally everything, we have some room, and I could use it... Uh, lean on... I'm free to lean on it more as a... as a, you know... as a weapon in the middle of all this shit. It definitely needs to be upgraded, though, because the, the damage is... 
okay, but not that great. Eat shit, kids. Oh, I only got one. Damn. You! Wow, I didn't actually do much damage. Shit. Act your fucking ride! It's actually kind of useless, though. Yeah, no, that's fuck. That's just shank. Getting rid of a problem. Right as my nuke is recharging. Hey guys! What just? Can I, can I get really close together? You want, you want you're right, like right there. Thank you. Absolutely obliterated. Oh, look, green part. Well, that went off in a completely wrong fucking direction. Yeah. 
Anything up there I missed? Was that wasteful? Yeah, kind of. Oh well. Just guiding on. Just guiding on the lock on. Wait for it. <laughs> I nuked a disemboweled corpse on the ground. So that's quite that's quite creative ASCII art you've got there, sir. Must have took a took a lot of effort. I'll see you dead now. <laughs> <Tonight. laughs> I basically just slaughtered everyone in the room. One survived. Hang on.
blocks me into a corner, and then you just make it really easy to do that. There's some parts. And now we can further upgrade the nuclear death cannon. Because clearly we need more power. That's exactly what we need. Hmm. I wish I could make other parts. Like, I, I wish I could actually um, use other parts to modify and combine onto another part. Like, say, using torsos for weapons. That would be convenient. But, uh, the Nightmare Bilerant here is, uh, working pretty well for us, I think. Did we get anything new? Okay, a Wing Gundam, Gym Command Space Type, a Alex, Neat, and a Hygog. Alright, good. More parts we don't really need to care about anymore. I wonder. Let's try something chancy. I wonder. Considering the nuclear bazooka is so goddamn powerful, I wonder, how far can we push that? Though really, I should probably, you know what, before I do anything stupid, I should probably actually go upgrade that with those parts that I just got. Yeah. Sure. All right, so now that we have some weapons on hand and some plastic along with it. Hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Wow, really? That goes right up to fucking level four? Good Christ. Alright, good. Mm. Fires nuclear warhead. Yes. Thank you. One thing I will do is, uh, which one will go over here to merge, and then use plastic, because I know we have some plastic. Use just enough to get that up to level 8. Level six. Good. Good. Now it's basically on par with our bazooka as it was before. Hmm. Hmm. 
Gatling DPS? What? The hell does that do? I'm assuming that's Vulcan, but I don't need that, so oh well. Actually, what? Well, no, I need the pair merge in order to get the rarity. So I wonder. Oh, it has fire. Okay. I can use one of these, or two of these, really. Father, which series had the nuclear noob tube, and was it actually used in canon? Yes, actually, it's... It was on GPO Unit 2 in 00, uh, 0083 Stardust Memory. And yes, it was used! It's kind of the reason how all the things that, uh... Well, that and everything that hap everything else that happened in 0083 is kind of the setup for why everything is so awful in Zeta Gundam. Uh, Anna Velgato decided he was going to be slick and try and actually fight for space noid rights and dignity and more ideals! And he made everything worse. ton of these. I will save that one. That's kind of neat. I want to keep those around because Gundam Sentinel's pretty fucking baller. I don't know when I'm going to see those again, so I'm going to just keep that. I don't really think I have anything I want. Oh, but first act. Right, okay. Hmm. Oh, right. Hmm. That's what all of that is. Right, and that's just other meme shit that you can get, I guess. First breaker, please. But th those are oh, those are main character abilities, if you want those. I guess I'll just leave it at that. And now let's kill something very large.
There's Blue Destiny again, and wow, okay, he... Wow, his bounty's very high. So you know what? Uh, I'll put him on there. Encore Gundam Kai. Encore. Right. Oh, then there's that red... Then there's that Razgrees fella again. We're gonna have to keep going, I so I suppose. We got um, I suppose to find more Byloran parts, which is kind of unfortunate. But hang on here. Before we get in with that guy, what if we just kind of? Actually, no, I can't take more than four. Huh? All right, fine, fuck it. It's time for nuclear annihilation. Okay, the funny thing is, as soon as they spawn, I could fire them. I could fire the nuke at them, and it will hit all of them. It's a pretty good opening move. <laughs> Fools! The only thing that awaits you here is your death. Just disintegrated. <laughs> That's a very easy way to get a shitload of parts now. <laughs> good, good. Okay, right. Cam snipe rifle, boost custom, gun of dynamite. That's more double zero stuff. And age two dark hound. Hmm. Edgy looking. I like my Bylerin though, but that is a that is a headpiece that I will consider using. However, unfortunately, um, I need to finish exam system. But the thing is, exam system was played no part in that. Okay, and then um, green arm. So very nice. And plastic. Yeah, that had a lot of useful units in there that I could... That was very easy because two of the guys died instantly. So that was incredibly easy. Let's do that again before we crank up the difficulty, I think. So we'll go from the fifth up instead of the bottom four. Man, would it kill to have some Zeta Gundam music in here? Fuck. Alright, where are you? Ha 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 ha! 
Kids, you want to have fun again? Ah, damn it. I misjudged that. Oh, look at this guy with his trans -am system. Hazard, I, I, I figured as much. It's kind of hard to not not recognize that fucking building. But oh well, interesting environments. Although what I could do... Actually, yeah, no, what I could do... Instead of doing all this, even though this is helpful... I've got a terrible idea. Actually, well, not really a terrible idea, a sensible idea. I will just buy you of model kits in the shop and use that as junk parts. Which might be a little bit inefficient because I can't get multiples of arms, for example. But, uh... Hmm. This might go a little faster. I get anything new? Ah, yes, a dynamis. And a goof custom. Neat. No funnels yet. Right, so, uh, hmm. What is the cheapest fucking suit? What is the cheapest kit I can buy over and over again? I think it's the 30,000 ones. Yeah, I don't look like they get much cheaper than that. So, yes. I'm gonna buy dogs. I didn't get any weapons from that, though. That's just kind of unfortunate. Damn. Oh, well. I had more than enough fucking money. You can't get weapons from that, which is strange. These have the interesting abilities. Stagger. No, none of them have any abilities at all. Hmm. Range weapon burst ability? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have something on this, even if it's completely worthless.
What does the bipod do? Tell me what it does, you fuck. I guess not. That. We just need one, I want to keep that. The enemies I don't need anymore because I already got the kit now. that money was minorly effective. It looks like the better option is to just beat the shit out of the guys in the bounty. Ah. So good, I can upgrade the arms now to green. Ooh. Enhanced durability. Anything else in there? Nope. Fucking 7,000 hit points? Jesus Christ. I doubled the amount of fucking defense. Good lord. Quest is jagged, dog. <laughs> Get out. Fucking quest. I got two of them. Fucking quest. No, thank you. If I was in the market for another dumb broad, I I, I call. I got the shop girl. She's all right. Dom legs, that's nice at least, but... Durability recovery. Thermonuclear hover engine. Oh, good- Yeah, no, what the- Okay, that gets in. Six, hmm. Okay, that... Doesn't really do anything. I mean, it... Ruster, right? I only gain benefits from these. Actually, I already have thermonuclear. Oh, hmm. They're actually, no. Ruster capacity, movement speed. Yeah, let's get rid of movement speed. Actually, I think the transaction... I actually... Hmm. I think I've already got that on something else, so I don't need it. Hmm. I'd like to see what these do. What's the button to force the pop-up? Like, I'd like to see what they all do. I think it's radiator fins, I think is the... Whatchamacallit, the, um... The Trans Am extent. Yeah, there it is. I don't need that, but because apparently it's not even active. Yeah, now I have 71,000 hit points. Just whatever. Don't need that. That. Hmm. Don't need any of these. We still have some plastic left over, right? Yeah. Just enough to get that up there. Hmm. 
Actually, I should check. Nope. All useless. some progress here, but I need more weapons. Hmm. So it would appear challenging a bunch of mooks in the, uh, the the bounty is actually a pretty good way to actually level up. Rather, just get a bunch of parts that are actually really nice. Once you can fight four people and watch all of the parts rain down on your head. Good for money and also good for parts. Kill one top guy. Hmm, pipe Jupiter. Okay, so let's see here. Alright, nah, 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 nah. Let's kill this guy. And that guy. And also that guy. I'm really just Mixing the... I'm mixing one really good guy in the middle of all this shit. Just get some extra parts. We now have reached the point in the power curve where the lowest, uh, you know, ranking people on the bounty board are now bonus points instead of actual engagements. Oh good, wide the fuck open, that's fantastic. Perfect fucking target to get slapped in the face with a nuke. Hi there, Hideo Kojima's death machine. Enjoy that! heal during that. I can actually change my parts and heal during that animation. That's actually really overpowered. Yeah, you're durable. I killed everyone else, but boy, are you durable. Oh, those hurt. All the parts! Give me all of the parts! Yeah, see, I knew I could break more often. <laughs> Sir, you are a torso. I'm gonna... <laughs> excessive? No, this is excessive. 
Money. Now, how many parts did I get? Did I get any good parts in there? No, no. I mean, GNX, that's all right, fine. All right, Rick Diaz arms. Wound wart fucking torsos, fine. They're at least high level, but no real new rarity. Hmm. They're at least high level. Nuking a torso, what is this, dead space? Gotta be sure. Gotta make sure he doesn't come back. What I need right now is I need to be a green weapon. No. Any of these have any interesting... Duplicate effect shield? Oh. Interesting, but I don't care. Beam mag. Actually, yeah, no, beam mag. Right, no, that's the this unicorn. Right. Eh. I just need raw levels now. Nice as you are, I want more. I, I want more levels. Hmm. I suppose I can keep it. Nah, all it. I could restrain myself, but no. Hmm. So what's the point in the in the power curve where all four guys at top become uh, top of the ranking list become fodder? When I am incredibly powerful, we'll find out. We'll find out when exactly that is. But hmm. Actually, wait a minute. We should probably keep the Katashira because we can get funnels out of that. It probably... It, why would he... T mm, yes, no. That's something with funnels. Or Kshatriya, I should say. But that's something with funnels. So, hmm, we should keep fighting that guy. Maybe we can shake the funnels out of him. You just need the parts of the suit that hold the funnels. Hmm. Well, that's doable. Unicorn just don't need any of these. Have I magically unlocked them? No. Yeah, bonus DPS and memes. Yes, exactly. Let's fight the same people and see what happens. Oh, wait, no, fuck. Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. All I have to do is just fire a nuclear weapon at these people, and they basically explode. The only one who's really a threat is the Exia. Or the, not the Exia, the fucking Jehudi knockoff. Only because he has so much fucking hell.
Hi, guys. Having fun? And the Rick Diaz is instantly fucking get you. Yes, that. I want that. Bully the Gabbard. Bully the Catcher. Uh, Not the Gabbard Tetra. I keep seeing the Gabbard Tetra stuff. But, okay, he's dead. I'd like to get up now. You do not interest me. Pile on the damage! Hi there. If you haven't figured it out, I'm just gonna beat the parts off of you. Yes, actually, I did. More wound work legs. All right. Money. Zilla. HS Gundam body and okay, right, okay, so a laser beam, most likely. Uh, <laughs> just in case I wanted the samurai sword, yeah, I don't. Thanks. But I don't. GN bazooka. Oh, that's stupid thing. Don't need that. Okay. Alright. Chatria. Hmm. Arm! Yes, good. The arm, which I believe are where the funnels are. Oh, well, hey. Hmm. Physical guard. Hmm. I got a thing. If I have to equip them to use the funnels, I'm not going to equip them, unfortunately. going to assume, though. Well, I ain't got them, but I'm assuming if I put the arms on. But yeah, there are the funnels. I don't want that, though! No, I want my Bylorn arms. I've worked hard to get these things working. So, neat, but no. Then you need the funnel racks. Keep playing. Yes, I need third-party funnels. Also, right about now, I need higher level parts, as I'm seeing here, because, uh, this is rather fucking slow. It's a lot of goddamn busy work. Holy- WHAT?! 
34,000 to excuse me? <laughs> I'ma just, uh... I'ma just grab that, thank you. Okay, um... I don't know what any of these do, so they're gonna have to fucking tell me. But, uh, definitely getting that- uh, that- well, that's worthless. Seriously, what is the button to make the- like, is it loading? There we go. Okay, so durability- uh, hmm. Adjustment without parts, durability 20%, physical resistance 20%, response speed, don't need that. Um, do these stack? They don't. They do not stack. So yeah, Gatling DPS can just get out. So yes, uh, would I like more... Uh, it's fucking 20,000 more hit point? Yes. to get the Violent Custom Head up to snuff here, but I think I might have to abandon the, uh, the exam system here, because I don't think it's really going to go anywhere now. I'm killing things too fast for it to actually proc. So, ha. Huh. Okay, I still have the attack on repair, right. 45% repair on attack, good. Or 45, plus 45. This is worthless. On kill, 3,000 hit points. Yes, good. Yeah, no, I can have more, so thank you. On kill, 3,000 hit points. Sure, I'll just have infinite. Is there an affix that lets you heal on hit? Yes, the, whatchamacallit, the, the Gundam Mark II torso I have actually lets me do that. So, right, as here, on hit, repair 45. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Um, now I heal 30,000 hit, or 3,000 hit points from uh, killing something. Which means I'm probably going to be un unfucking stoppable when I'm actually in one of the campaign maps. Hmm, so, um. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Now just put that A fix on all of your parts and you will be. you will be invincible. Yeah, if I can find it. Is there a way to copy and, like, give it to other parts? I, I probably have to find parts that have that on their parts. Or on their, uh, their abilities, I should say. Hmm. What are the- where, where do I need to put these? Seven. Yeah, no, those must be part of the arms, right? Yeah, no, they're part of the arms. Right, yeah, no, I upgrade the arms and then those weapons get upgraded. Good, okay, good. Those are the integral stuff.
Is it possible? Isn't it possible to check the bounty list and, and farm for parts from people who have the same effects effects on different parts? Maybe. Let's check. I don't. I don't think you can actually see that. Also, it's 12 o'clock, and I think we're heading to the end of the of today's stream. I'm excited. However, I've basically barely made any progress in the story. I'm going to absolutely reap everything that comes my path, though. That it, it, it kind of and enters my field of view, it is instantly dead now that I have unlocked probably one of the more horrifying combinations of parts that I could get a, my, my hands on. There are other meme parts that I could do, but I seem to have found one that's, well, frankly terrifying. Dawn Gorion Gundam. Um... Oh, that's player profile. No, I don't want that. Back! Back! There we go. You have a very nice Gundam. I'm going to break it now. Um, hmm. Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, that's the, oh! That's the crotch guard thing from one of the, uh, that's one of the tight, uh, what is it? Whatchamacallit? Not Strike Freedom. What was the legs? Gundam TR1 advance, yeah, the Hazel. <laughs> advance of Zeta memes. Pirate Gundam. There's already a crossbone, thank you! All these kids with all their C parts, or their, their double zero parts. I'm kind of mad, I wanted more Byloran parts, but I guess I can't really have those. So let's try... Hmm. Let's play a bit dangerously here. Hmm. Let's try two of the best air quotes on the bounty board. I can't see what affixes their parts have, so I guess it's still just random. Be careful. Yeah, I know, this is probably going to be horrifying. I'm probably actually going to have to try now. I'm probably actually gonna have to try to beat these guys. I'm probably actually gonna have to be careful. Because, uh, yeah, no, these guys are probably incredibly powerful. Because at the top of the bounty board, I'm pretty sure they just get more health because. Hey! Oh, fuck! I forgot to equip my beam savers. Because I changed the arms, I didn't mount them again. One down.
Jesus Christ. Took a while for the, you know, the ground town to actually proc, and then I just went... I just crushed the cockpit with my giant evil claws. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can do that. I have to spam re uh, the repair kits really fucking quick in there, but I can do that. Demolition knife. Beam magnum. V2 comes... Uh, well, victory too, but... Yes! Very... Very much salvation. Very much entirely justified. <laughs> Low quality plastic. Two handed sword augmenter. God, that build actually looks cursed. My build or their build? Because my build, yeah, I, I can I can see my build going places. Okay, so let's um let's have a look at what we've got here. Is there a limit to how many spare parts you can hold on to? Maybe. One thing I gotta do though is come over here and then put the thing back on the thing, and yes, good, thank you. Lance DPS, I don't need that. Your machine's resistance. Okay, that's uh, another resistance uh, modifier on top of it. How about that? Hmm. None of these are especially, like, enthralling. So, hmm. There's... I guess I'll just leave that as it is, because I don't really have anything really amazing to add to this. So let's play one more campaign map before we actually call it a night here, because it is 12 o'clock, and uh, I think we've done a good stream. It's been nice. I don't, I don't, I don't really feel like I've had the en energy to go on this long for a while, so it's nice to actually have that. And what do you know? It's Gundam. Hmm. Just difficult. Let's see, let's see about this. Version up. Mid-season power-up. Check your DMs. Oh, well, that's Kenusha. All right. All right, so, what's, he what's here on this mission? Aside from wanton chaos and destruction, now that I heal 3,000 hit points on a kill, which is going to happen a lot because I'm going to be killing a lot. I might not actually need the repair parts. Well, at least for this. That's my arm. As much as I thought it was. It's actually that the uh, what call it the uh, the swirling uppercut for the uh, the grapple attack actually does a shitload of damage to individual targets. I've noted. Uh, hey, my health has not even really moved. I guess we're going this way? Or... Nah, actually up there, most likely. 
Also, ha, Bylorant. Snow. Actually, no, it looks like I have to go around. Oh, actually, no, here's a bridge. Okay. I'm sure this place isn't just Kilimanjaro. Mammoth Gundam? I'm so- uh, what? Uh, what? What? Uh, excuse me. I don't quite remember what that is, what the, where that came from, but something tells me build fighters. Oh, Christ, there's another one. Wait a minute, can I- Actually, I can steal the Mammoth Gundam. <laughs> The Mammoth Gundam is left unmanned. Actually, wait a minute. No, I remember this. That's from G Gundam. As silly as it fucking is, that is from G Gundam. Sniper rifle. I thought they said snoop this super rifle for a second, but nope. Nope, probably just a GM sniper rifle. Oh, Rick Diaz. That's a Zeta gun. Though. This is just Kilimanjaro, isn't it? <laughs> Hey, remember that episode where Jared suplexed the Zeta Gundam? I remember. Who the fuck are you? Also, funny enough, this mechanic is actually borrowed from the, uh, uh, the, what's it called, the tactics games. Because in, uh, SDG Generations, um, purple and rare purple enemies spawn in missions sometimes. And you can capture them to increase your power. So I suppose this is, uh, kind of the same deal. They're just, you know, oddball enemies that you wouldn't expect that have nothing to do with what's going on, so... Really, they're there, just there to give you rare parts. Alright then, we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. Where's the opponent? 
It's a very large dom. It also stood no chance. And he's already dead. Who was he? I have no idea. Man's fucking dead. How goes the stream? Pretty well, actually. I seem to have come up with something extremely good. I seem to have set myself up pretty good here, and it looks like we're just gonna cruise through most of this content until we actually hit the level, like, by, like where I'm actually leveled for. I have no idea where, but until I actually meet content that's actually leveled for me, I'm pretty much just going to run around reaping every battlefield that I come across. Oh look, crash. Excuse me. It's that guy! It's that guy! What's his name again? Four vaginas or something? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> well, that missed. Well, oh, fuck. Alright then. Now I got some Zeta Gundam parts. Neat. Hopefully we get to a net yo, a couple maps forward and I actually get some more Bylerin parts because I kinda like the rest of this mobile suit. Even though I've uh made this thing quite the demon at yo, know, right at, as it is right now, the jumble of, you know, somewhat jiving parts. Multi Punisher. Whoa! 1,000, damn it! What? Zooka splits in two and is held by both hands. Rapid fire high power projectiles for a wide area. 1,000%? I'm sorry, what? Ah. Uh, also, gold multi blast. Huh. Ah. Uh. Gold uses restriction unlocked. Oh right, I've used all of, I've used that so much I can just have it now. Aha. Uh -huh. Sniper rifle, what did I get here? Long rifle DPS, right? No, don't need it. Zeta Gundam, Zeta Gundam, Zeta Gundam, Gym 2. Hmm. The gold dynamese arms. Good. Interesting. Ah, regular quality plastic. Yes. You volunteered. Eh? Sweet Jesus. Oh Christ, it's the mascot. Wait, what? Wait, Wait, there, there was the info bot at the fucking arcade. What are you talking about? We have robots, clearly. 
子供と一緒に遊んでくれることなんだふむふむあこれ取説だガンプラバトルも一緒にできるなるほどこれがメインスイッチ新しいチームメンバーってことだ次からシミュレーターに入るときはこいつも連れて行けって勝手に起動すんなよもうしちゃったおお立ち上がったはじめましてロボタン勝手に変な名前をつけるないいじゃんロボタンかわいいじゃんねえロボタンああこいつ言葉は理解できるけど発生機能はついてないんだなんであくまでおもちゃであるためだ人の近くにいるロボットの開発ってデリケートなんだよ特にトイボットは子供の成長にどんな影響が出るかまだわからないからななんか大人っぽいこと言ってる大人だからないいから早速テストしてこいうまくいけば次のリージョンカップは3人で戦えるあいやし The shady main character The plucky girl and then the robot はじめましてロボタさんですね記憶しますなんで名前知ってるの今聞きました光デジタル信号でですねあいやし The robots are communicating ロボットですが The robots are communicating and they know each other and now has, it, it, he has now been designated robot. Okay, so, um, hmm. Huh, what should I do? What should I do? All right. Yes, the actions thing because Jesus fucking Christ. Multi Punisher. Because fucking hell, guys. 1000% damage. Okay, we'll deal with you know, compressing all of these parts. Do we have anything interesting in it? No, no, wait. Shoot, shooting mode damage adjustment. What? I have no idea what that is. Okay, well. That's set up, right? Yes, multi punisher. We'll go see what that's like before we call it a day. Gotta do one more thing. Yes, one more thing. Just keep going, right? Just gotta、uh, find something to distract myself as I carry on into the wee hours of the morning. Actually, I'm getting kind of tired, and we still have three more shows this week, so. Yeah, I think six and a half hours of Gunpla is actually a pretty alright time. We went on an adventure and killed a whole lot of people, but actually not because plastic. Spanky. Okay. Oh, right. Bilerant. Yes, please. There's that Bilerant man again. Right. Uh, I want to fight you. And I'll fight、uh, a bunch of other mooks. Because I want parts from the fucking Bilerant. I want the rest of the kit. Well, let's see what this new amazing 1000% damage looks like. Alright, so it's the, it's the R1 square. So it's replaced the multi attack, but apparently it's going to still multi attack, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. We'll see.
Okay, that one. The green one. That guy. You are annoying me. Genius. It's doing a thousand damage, which is quite nice. So really, it's just the same thing, but I... Uh, well, I already had the arms, though. Come on, now. So it's doing the same thing, it just does more damage. Maybe it's just from leveling... Ah, uh, right, maybe it's because I leveled up the ability so much, it just gave me a more powerful version of the ability. Interesting. Basically, what some of these do. Good. They like claws. Good. GN sword. Weapons. Not going to map. That Byler and custom head. Body. Nope. Got the arms. I mean, well, that's level five in blue and green. Not bad. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Enemy kill. Uh, more vampirism. Hooray. I'm just going to put that on my backpack right now. Because yes, I would like more hit points on my on my mech every time I kill someone. So I have like 6,000 hit points every time I kill someone. Meaning that I am essentially invulnerable while playing the regular missions. Just enough room. These do not do anything. Good. Booster cup. Mm. GN Drive is actually useless, so you know what? Just grab that. I don't think that actually does anything. Or rather, isn't doing anything because it's already being taken up by another ability. So yes, 30% more boost. Yes, please. Yeah, if you see an ability that's grayed out, then you'll probably already have something that's better taking precedent. What about orange? What's orange mean? Being taken up by another slot? Or being used by another... You know, have a, a weapon that has overlap with another part? I think. Actually, we have movable frame. Actually, we can actually get that out of here. So, hmm. TPS don't need it. Response speed three point six. Well, we get the same response speed. I wonder if we can stack that. frame can get the fuck out. We don't really need that.
Ah, I can stack that. Oh, wait, shit, that was parts merge. Fuck. Ah! Wait, which one am I using? Hang on here. What did I just merge that with? Uh, if, huh. I made a whoops. Oh well. Yeah, no, I, I already have the Bylon Custom Arms, so well. I'm using the arms, no. If orange, if if an orange, if an orange has the same effect as another orange on any part, they don't stack. Hmm. Okay. Okay. New model generator. What the fuck does that do? does it do? Boost recovery speed 25%, I guess? Yeah, boost recovery speed. Hmm. Probably won't stack. Hmm. Well, I suppose everything else can wait. Got plenty of stuff here. I can't have anything shockingly amazing here, but I can always just uh, actually no, no, no need to do. We need to actually upgrade the fucking atomic bazooka. That needs to go up because that just it destroys everything in front of us. So, <laughs> nuclear missile go up. Yep, none of them have anything I need. the most effectual things that I think we can do. But, okay, it's 12.30, and I think we've run the gamut of shit to do right now that isn't busy work. You can get lost in this shit for hours, I can see, but, uh, yeah, seven hours, and just this is just the start of this week. So, um, I think we'll call it an evening, folks, but, uh, yeah, so, we went into cursed gunpla kit bashing shenanigans, and... We have arrived with Bylerant. Didn't expect that, but you know what? I like it. So, 
I think we'll be good with this suit. I like the suit in concept, and also is horrifyingly effective as we have created it. So you know what? While we could probably get it a little bit more onto a Bilerant, um, pretty good. So, um, I'm, I'm just gonna keep forward with this thing and see what happens. It's got kind of a nice presence, don't you think? But, ladies and gentlemen, I've been your host, Fontaman. Thank you for joining me today on this stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Please enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Kingdom Death Monster. Good night, and see you next time. <laughs>